<laughs> uh, you guys are going in the bowels of the the war barge to uh, locate survivors. You found Captain Malakis and Inquisitor uh, Orthodormus uh, held up in a uh, a storage room of some sort. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, our storage facility. So uh, they're holding up there. And then the walls were creeping in on you guys, and tentacles were coming out of the walls with void entities. And the whole ship is the shadow of the, the warp entity on the other vessel. So a lot of tainty void nonsense. And last time we were pondering how would we be able to get out out of the ship with everyone intact. Right. So you guys know there's a there's a fuel refinery as you guys are coming in. Uh, Captain Malaki says probably best to detonate that and destroy this ship. Uh, last time, uh, last session, uh, Yilmug, character, uh, I forgot his name already. Uh, er Ericlides, I uh, heard that uh, that. Upon defeating the first of those monsters, warp entities, that uh, this ship entity was mad. Mm -hmm. uh, or got mad at us destroying them. Did Ericlides uh, tell any of us that information? Would he tell that to Ericlides? I mean, it's up, to, it's up to Ericlides, not me. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. I mean... I don't feel it's excessively important information to purge demon taint from the the world. We all we all know we need to do it anyway. Yeah, it's Whether not. It a... makes this demon taint demon no. uh, creature mad or not. It's kind of like, eh, I don't think I explicitly told anyone because I don't feel anyone really needed to know that. Oh no, we're making this thing mad. Good. Is a void entity right. uh, would it be considered demon? I mean, it's still chaos entity, right? Unless right. it's something that's not from chaos. It's uh, not. But everything that's uh, there, there's a lot of other chaos entities and chaos other than the four gods and their kind. So it can still be a chaos entity. Okay, that's true. Well, then yeah, it would be. Then I guess it would fall in that sum because it's doing a lot of crappy, weird, chaotic things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But true, it could also be some other alien entity that's not from the warp. Because uh, there's a lot of weird messed up shit in 40k. Um, there, so it there could is. just not be from the warp. but <clears throat> No, it is. Because your bullets are working on it. So Yeah, our side bullets were doing some stuff. Um, so it's just a different kind of demon, but it's not from one of the big four. Got it. I wasn't sure how they classified warp entities. Like, eh, it's not... Not with them. Yeah, to, but uh, for the most part, you know, it's going to be from one of the big four because you know they're the majority. But you'll you'll still come across stuff. After all, all the prime marks are demon entities, so right. They just had a demon soul shoved in a prime mark body. Yep. Off they went to form a chapter. But yeah, your uh, characters would know all this because the Inquisitor he did his investigation. That's why the barge is in disarray, like it is. The reason as to why I was asking that was I was thinking we could make a diversion of sorts to let the rest of these incompetent uh, people get out of the ship and then later on join them. But since I don't know that information, I will just propose we all just clamp up in a big group and just try to get out. Yeah, well, also the entire ship is kind of uh, it, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's like, uh, I was thinking, like, oh, if you, like, break a few lids, uh, like, panels here and there and fucking puncture walls and maybe, like, would, like, divert the ship's attention or something. Because yeah. it seemed that the warp entities, they seem to appear... Uh, well, I don't know how they appeared, but I was, I presumed they would be like, oh, it detected us, so it froze them in front of us. So, like, it detects uh, 
living things, I guess, and throws sh shit at them. <clears throat> and since uh, Captain Nalakius has the uh, the psychic aura, which kind of prevents uh, the warp entities from spawning around them, from what I understand, so it yep. would be kind of like a shield for yep, them just to safely pass through. I mean, I feel it'd just be safer if we all went at, together with Malakis, you know, and his aura, rather than going, all right, guardsmen, we're going to go word. this way with the shield, but they cause a distraction. <laughs> you guys get to risk it back to the extraction point with no protection. No, I mean, and, they would go with the uh, Inquisitor and Captain Malakis. Right. That's what I meant. I feel like there's only going to be one safe path, and that's with everyone together burning their way through. And who was the captain of the the group again? Was the dude's character? I mean, or... Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No besides pressure, dude. Besides, we have strength in numbers if we're all together. <clears throat> Security in numbers. And strength in numbers. So we can. So I. I think it's a good idea to stick together. <laughs> okay. All right. No, no, stop your nonsense, Tom. Well then, brother Dominego, what is? You guys, you guys all hear that? It's my voice coming from across the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Dominego, what what is our next course of action? I glance at our new uh, librarian friend, brother. What kind of a glance is it? Uh, a curious one, I guess. A judging one. Uh, as you have a helmet on, I do not see this. I glance. do, yeah. Yeah, so you can only speculate as to how I'm glancing. <laughs> Captain Malachia says, Brothers, ignore th this void entity's taunts and traps. And we're we're sure that this is um these are the only survivors, right? I mean, how can we be sure that they're the only survivors? Other than that, they've all the gathered up. Scanner. You have your bio scanner. Ah, uh, of course. I forgot about that. Yeah, these are like the only ones worth seeing. It. We didn't detect any other ones, as far as I remember. But sure. Uh, I thought we had detected like four different sources. Captain Malachius indicates... And he's referring to you when he says brothers. You guys. Captain mm -hmm. Malachius indicates yeah. to the guardsmen and says, Let us push on with the kill team. We're getting off this ship. I will maintain my aura, brothers, to keep you safe from the warp entities spawning beneath us. And I, brothers, will give us the foresight to protect ourselves. And then I'll uh, group up and uh, start doing my whole bubble of everybody gets plus 10 on uh, one attack during their turn. Or one anything during their turn. Three of us. Well, that's, that's awesome to remember. <laughs> well, that is... I could do more. Oh. Because I can do up to five of us. Plus me. Mm -hmm. Ericlades. My sky rating is five, so if I risk a uh, risk a warp incursion, I can get all of us. But yeah, no, I'm gonna get just some of us. Uh yeah, he tells you this in your mind, though, Yelmog. Ericlades, if you wish to assist me, we can increase our range. <clears throat> ah, <clears throat> that would actually be far more useful. That is. That is called constructive feedback. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, right, so, constructive interference. Right, he's able to do about 50 out 
from his little <clears throat> so. You so you can double, double that to a hundred. You, you could double it with uh, you helping him. Uh, cool. Well, I'm gonna do everything you know, restrained and you know not unrestricted. So I'm gonna do my little invocation to help bump that. Uh, I get a fifteen because my staff. Oh my god! I already failed that roll. No, nope, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend one of my fate. And reroll that. <laughs> I hit re reset your state points. Oh. <laughs> I rolled a 99 and succeeded, so hey. <laughs> wow. Alright, so I succeeded my invitation, yeah, which means my work. next warp power that I'm doing with my channel will get plus one to its psi rating while restricted. So it'll be at a psi rating three. Is it rounded up or rounded down? No, these are all rounded up. So it'd be Psy rating four. Guardsmen, clear path bring... for the kill team at the barrier. Sorry, I go just ahead. want to bring up a fact that you got even worse roll than you passed. <laughs> yeah, barely. Uh, I see a failed uh, guardsman roll. I barely failed one. Is that really a surprise, though? <laughs> no, but I'm saying, uh-oh, because they're just guardsmen and they're not important to the plot and they just failed an attack roll. Damn. Oh, you're saying anything can happen, even their weapons exploding? Well, we are on a warp tainted ship. <laughs> did, you not, did you not remember the Tyranids we fought in the first mission <laughs> that kept killing themselves? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, God. No. <laughs> the guardsmen are opening up. Uh, there's what? Six guardsmen there? That 4.7 is still only an 80. That one's worse. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what they get. A 92. Uh, what's a gun jam? Is 95? 95 I think 95, 96. Okay, so one... Two, three, mi four miss. Uh, two hit their mark. A miss? One of them shot the ceiling. Right, shot the ceiling, whatever. <laughs> oh, and in doing so. Actually, uh, you ha you're assisting him, right? We're going to be charged. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just haven't made the right back, uh, low power roll yet. Uh, do Go ahead and do that. Any... Do I get any modifiers on this roll? Plus 40? This system. Plus 40? Oh, well, yeah. then I can't. Right, so the warp entity that was going to spawn in front of you spawns over here. So. And they deal. what they deal? 9, 9 damage? Okay. So 18 damage. Cool. I'm gonna try and stand in front, like next to them, to try and intercept whatever comes as charging at us. If it, if anything comes charging at us. I roll for, uh, I guess initiatives. Okay. Unless you guys want to know, you guys can open fire. Do you guys right? Were you guys at the barrier too with these guys? Uh, sure. Yeah, because the whole team assembled at the barrier in the hallway. The hallway's pretty big, pretty large. This is... So. Do we get the bonus to our agility uh, moth or not? This session. That is a question for Poco. Say that again? Uh, I have an ability that uh, I activated the last time that lasts for an encounter. Whatever the GM so, determines that is. An, an encounter would probably be the session. So. All right. You can, you can fire it off activate. again. Yeah. Right. Okay, are you guys going to fire? Who's firing? So that will be 17 for me. Okay. <laughs> Which... Damn it. 
test. Don't forget your agility is doubled now. Agility bonus. Oh, my agility bonus is double? Because yep. of uh, Mark's uh, ability. Oh, uh, yeah, we've right. got uh, unnatural agility times two. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm okay with my initiative. Yes, it is. It would be a 14. I do not care. <laughs> All right. I'll be honest with you. It means you shoot before the enemies move. I'm back. Right. I don't care enough to correct it. I'm too lazy. Okay. Uh, so you guys... You guys can all shoot the surprise round before we start the actual combat. Well, I don't see any actual bad guys in front of us. All I see are the little tentacles coming out of the wall. Yeah, sir. Those are the bad guys. Those are the bad guys, yeah. You can shoot, you can shoot at it. So as far as you know, anything outside your guys' is... If you're seeing these tentacles coming out of the walls, you can shoot at it. But we don't have to. I mean, it's up to you. 75 meters away. I'm not, because everything's outside of my pistol range. Okay, well, guardsmen are moving up. Or not, I guess. I'm back, by the way. <clears throat> welcome yeah, back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We all died. It was crazy. Yeah. No, it's my shoot. Rocks just fell. Everyone died. Stress. Okay, I'm gonna be near. Is that an Ogren? Or is that a really big guardsman? <laughs> The dude with the hammer? No, that's no, Thor. Right, no, 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 right in front of me. Right in front of my character. Just like a really giant guardsman. That's dark. Size of the space marine. Are you, are you sure that's not uh, Captain Blackley's or whatever? No, 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 no. A regular guardsman. Yeah. Oh, that guy. Oh. Yeah, I think I just a poorly sized guardsman. No, no, he has a uh, genetic nasmus to make him bigger. Can we, can we make him an Ongren? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. As we're moving, I tell everybody to stay at the center of the hallway. I wonder if there's a way to hide the tags temporarily. In that case, I should be moving for the first. Since I'm in the other Back. Let me, let me start doing that for the tokens. One second. Clearing up some stuff. <clears throat> They're coming out of the wall, sphincters. Right. Is that helping with visibility a little bit? Trying to non-player characters. I'm hiding their names. One second. So you see the you see the fully uh, formed warp entities fall out of the ground. Uh, who's fr in front of me? I'm in front of you. I don't remember that character's name. Sorry. Far enough. I tell as the entities start to phase out of the walls. I tell Karnov to get down, prone, so that I can start f hailing them with uh, my heavy bolter. Can I sidestep? If, is there enough space to sidestep? And yeah. Not y yes. The tentacles. All right. I'll just sidestep. <laughs> yeah, there's no tentacles coming out of the wall. That that the, the barrier he's putting up. The these look like normal walls. So as you guys are moving down, the living walls are settling down. So, so they can't spawn out of the walls. Any uh, modifiers besides my base? Uh, you got half range, that's another plus 20 right there. So, got that. So that's, what, plus 40 altogether? I'll be plus 80 then. My base thing is 40. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Hey, do your damage. Are you hitting all three of them or only that one in front in, in the corridor? Uh, all, yeah, pretty much any of them. Like, it's in my fire uh, line line of fire. So this one's dead. And then how much damage did you do together? Let's see, 19. So I'm just gonna start tickling damage down on, on any of these. I'll choose. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So minus 19. And then minus 27. That one's dead. Are you using the new ammo, by the way, or using your old ammo? Old ammo. Old ammo, okay. Oh, you are? Hold up. Because they actually have armor plating. So you're not using sidekick armor or weapons? The side bolts that we have almost infinite ammo on? We do oh, not we have, do have infinite, infinite. infinite ammo. Almost we do not infinite. Have infinite ammo on that. I only have 390. Sorry, man. I have 14 clips of this. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, it, it feels like infinite ammo for me. Yeah, it's like 14 clips. I'll eat that up pretty easily. It'll feel like uh, infinite ammo until you run out. Right. It won't be infinite. It's up to you if you want to use it, because if you use regular stuff, i got to take their armor into account, which... Let me go and see what their armor already Jeez, is. How much ammo do your weapons hold? Because I only got four mags. I think his uh, holds 10. The heavy builder, I think, holds 10. The regular oh. bolter has 28 rounds in a clip. Oh, in a clip. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. What the hell? I can't... It's not letting me... Okay. That's super weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, they're going to eat up, what is it, 28. So all your rounds will bounce off it if you don't use Psy am Psy Psy ammo. And I'm using Psy ammo. <clears throat> right, because they have, yeah, so that would, because that would negate all their armor. Cause... Okay. And you have no choice, because if you don't, that's, that's 28, and that's going to be really hard to kill. Right. Okay, uh... And the damage is doubled against them, so... Oh! Yeah! Better. Ooh, nice! Er... Cool, super dead. I'm pretty sure... I, I know I know it's been a while, it's been like three weeks since our last session, but... So it, it might be... difficult for us to remember, but I'm pretty sure our characters... Would have been using range? the Psy ammo the entire time. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, we didn't use it till we got into this room, and I said, oh, hey, by the way, we have this. Uh, oh, well, yeah. used it yeah. in the last encounter. Uh, in the last encounter. We did use it. Or did someone used it, I remember. Right. Uh, what's your range? Max range? Yeah. 150. So, where's your guys right here? So. Yeah. Go ahead and li uh, list out your range, maximum range. That's the whole, basically almost the whole hot wire, right? Okay, right after that door. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna assume. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do the math though. I'm gonna assume that you killed everything in here. Let's see. Hold up. Let's see. This one. I will point out here that uh, these are not Xenos. Yeah. Psy cannon bolts do the damage to things with psi rating very. So these would do this much damage to you, right? Yeah, it said it said uh, void entities. It, it specifically, I remember mentioned that too when I was looking at them. Psyrating demons and other warp entities, and that's what these are. No, I'm Ooh. just saying for the uh, any uh, righteous furies, mm -hmm. we'd have to oh. roll again to oh, hit right, them right. because they're not Xenos. <clears throat> right, right. I don't think I can do a right another righteous fury because that's my max rate of fire. And rounds. <laughs> right. Uh, oh. Let's see. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so these are dead. And minus. 
58. This one's dead. Hey, you just cleared the hallway, man. <laughs> 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 With all your damage, that, ju that was just enough to kill the last one. Brother Dominego, nice shooting. <laughs> I'm assuming he's just going... Whoa! Just down the hallway, just unloading. So go ahead, describe. Yeah. A ten thirty millimeter auto cannon. <laughs> I respectfully nod. Yeah, go ahead, describe how you did all this fancy work there, to Mangus. Yeah, I tell I t tell my brothers to stand back, and as he stand back, I rim up my bolter. <clears throat> when it's ready, I just hail I just hail down, rain of fire against these entities. <clears throat> um, uh, against these unholy entities, and they just disappeared after after all, all said and done. You pasted them into nothing, <laughs> right? And the blood and yeah. So uh, what you guys see is tentacles. They're coming out of the ground, kind of walking a little bit. So it's really hard to tell what they, they are. They, they some are just tentacles coming out of the ground, poking out with skulls with laser rifles on them. Some are like fully formed people almost and that's kind of guys what you guys are seeing just grotesque tentacle things made of blood metal all that stuff all the beautiful things yeah, I mean, your char yeah your characters would know these probably once the crew and now and they're uh, now they're scattered everywhere coating the hallway with their god right. and also yeah, the ship's paneling, all sorts of things. You guys just see it, just a hallway just tattered with bullets and ripped apart entities and, yeah, pure destruction. Glorious. I, I need to use a tax ship use every time I use a heavy bolter. Do I get any additional benefits to that, or it's just plus zero? Well, on your gun, you have a uh, plus... No, wait, no, that's... You have a plus 10 instantly, I think. Uh, you can fire again. AFK Wait, for a minute. See. So it is plus 10 for tech use to see if it overheats or not. Oh, uh, uh, penalty to it. Uh, it's a attack roll. Uh, yeah. fire, you can fire again. It's a minus ten to attack roll, and overheating is tech use. Yeah, yeah, tech, and tech use is just a normal. It's just base. You guys yeah. see that, right? Yeah, the black circle, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's intentional. Okay. Uh so Yoma, your character would sense that the entity is trying to psychically blind you guys. Is there any way I can psychically yeah. go fuck off? Yep. Go for it. My Sweet. weapon's still good. <clears throat> so even any even any modifiers on this? Uh minus ten. Cool. Oh, I perfectly succeeded. <laughs> Sweet. And uh, you hear in your head from Captain Lycus, thank you. I, I, he's like, I'm going to be able to shield all everything that comes from this damn thing. Or this unholy thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I reply with, not to worry, brother. We shall not suffer this witch to live. I proceed forward. Do not linger, Tech Marine. You don't want to fall behind. 
right. <laughs> What's your character's name again, Moth? Uh, Presora? I don't know how to spell that. Oh, Brasora, that's right. Can you hear nice. me? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm back, and for the record, I heard what you said. Wireless headsets for <laughs> okay. the win. Oh, God, it's been so long. What do you ask for again? <laughs> You should bring me like my uh, double chocolate latte. <laughs> my chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Ah, oh, fuck. Starbucks closed on Earth like 10,000 years ago. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> right. I need my caffeine. As I'm uh, drinking Starbucks right now. <laughs> Did you bring my dick for? What'd you say? What's a dick for? Yo, mama. Hey, your character. <laughs> your character is not quite sure what he means when he asked that. Ah, so he didn't ask for anything. Uh as far as maybe. Besides, I mean, maybe. So maybe you didn't get the message. So it's many things. Many things. But he's asking you. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't ask for anything. That I know of. I knew what that you know of. Uh oh. Alright, Dan, if I recall correctly, you've been doing the voice for the Inquisitor. Oh, right. Did you bring what I asked? Yada yada yada. Hmm, interesting. My transmission might have been intercepted. We can discuss this when we're away from prying ears. Carry on. So you see one of the uh, guardsmen just get sucked in the wall. <laughs> By the way, um, I I take note of what uh, Inquisitor Orthodermis says unless I can't hear it. But if I can hear... Inquisitor Orthodermis talking, I no no. It's uh, any, anytime he's discussing with the Omux character, it's going to be like psychic. But he's discussing but he it with Moth's character. Right when he does talk to him, I'm saying okay. However, my faith in the Inquisitor is yet unwavering. I stand to the next to our captain, waiting for orders. I'm just waiting for everyone. You mean Captain Malakius? Uh, our Q team leader. Domingo. There you go. Our squad leader, not our captain. He's an NCO. Hold, brothers. Something powerful lays beyond these corridors. I can't hold the aura as strong as I once could. I sense something. I think you should take the time now to, uh, ready weapons, maybe. Yeah, your characters here just giant smashing just clamoring of something coming down the corridors no one's gonna ready your weapon okay ready. I, I ready my, my weapon, weapon. yeah 
Our weapons were already ready. Yeah, they guardsmen. Ready. Yeah, guardsmen are forming up on your guys' flanks. I ready my <laughs> weapon anyway. My weapon is now double readied. I right. So my second bolter and also ready that. Right. So yeah, I dual wield my he says, bolter, my pistol. Yeah, he inform. Yeah, he informs you, uh, Eric Ladies, that he's going to be doing all he can to hold this shield because something big coming. And he doesn't want more of them to spawn on top of you guys. So he's. Well, cool. I'm like, well, if you don't mind, Captain, I'm going to relinquish my support for you so I can support the others instead. He says that's fine. So I'm going to relinquish my support for the Captain, and I'm going to now do my evocation and then my willpower check to give four people that plus 10 bonus if I succeed on my rolls. Nice. So what? What? I'm sorry, I forgot because it's been several weeks. But what? Uh, what kind of ship are we on again? A uh, war barge. War barge. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. Now let's see here. Who's going to stay within range, or rather, could use it the most? Uh, use what? What is this boost? It's a plus ten bonus on any roll during your turn. Ah. For literally anything. I'm um, not going to need that. I think we got to give it to uh, our heavy gunner, our glorious <laughs> squad leader. Uh, our tech marine has just said no thank you, so I guess I'll give it to the black shield instead. <laughs> Finally. That's all right, brother. I will, I will uh, use my close. tech use skills. Right. He's, you guys he's see melee. He's not going to be close. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I'm also close. melee, so I'll probably be running up with him. Ah. Uh, at least slowly. Uh, yes. And uh, the sister. Uh, God, can I actually do the full squad of four? Or does one of it have to be me? Let me check. In the meantime, uh, I turn to Captain Malachius and ask him, Captain Malachius, sir, wouldn't it be beneficial to try and salvage this war barge? Is it possible that it can, we can reverse the damage of the warp, or is it too tainted, and we must destroy it on our way out? Uh, what's your character's name again? Uh, my character's name is oh my god, I forgot. Neil Tyron. Neil Tyron. Neil Tyron. Thank you. <laughs> I thought we, I thought we already know that that the answer. I thought. The previous conversations, like this is, this ship is lost. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Nukarin <laughs> also gets the plus ten because uh, I have enough psychic rating to uh, give everybody the plus ten, including myself. Oh, I uh, after, the only problem is, is it's only going to work while you're within twenty meters of me. After uh, after hearing uh, Captain Malakius say no, I pause and do a double take and realize that it only happened in my head. Um, I turn to our librarian and uh, tell him, "Brother, uh, there appear I appear to be hearing things. I heard I heard Captain Malachius respond. Did you hear no, him you respond? Know I didn't you hear him respond. Him. No, you, you know it's him because it's, he said it in your head in his voice. You know for sure it's him, brother. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> disregard. <laughs> he gave me in one's mind. It may very well actually be him." <laughs> if now, if he tells you to do something horribly strange, then it's probably not him. Ah, I understand. Uh, I apologize for my confusion. The Emperor right. protects. And, uh, yeah, Mel, your, your character knows he's... He's straining himself right now to keep this shield up. <laughs> yeah. I will say, though, don't fucking talk to him right now. <laughs> 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 okay, I will keep my mouth shut and follow orders. Thank you for the advice. <laughs> and don't screw up in your roles. The less he has to think about the better in this particular situation. If right. the Emperor's favor is upon us, I will not screw up my randomly generated roles. Don't worry, brother. I'm giving you a slight bonus to your randomly generated Jesus possessed roles. <laughs> So go ahead, uh... May, May, uh... Oh god, what's his name? Is it Nuffle? May Nuffle ever forget... Give you favor. 
Yeah, go ahead and roll your uh, rolls here. Initiative? Yeah, initiatives. Sorry. Enemies, they got. Oh, wait, didn't we get some kind of bonus from uh, the, double, yeah. the Sister double of Battles uh, thing? Yeah, the, that. Was it a plus five? Agility bonus is doubled. Ah, that's what it was. Okay, then I got a 16. Right, because you guys see this, right? Pop yes, out around I the do. corner. I see. Oh, sweet. That's all that matters. Yeah, finally roll something low for my initiative. But work. Wait, well, you want to roll high for your initiative, not not low. I know, but lately I've been rolling high initiative. This is like the first time after like five, ten, five or more initiatives. Oh my well, don't god! Don't forget your uh, agility bonus is doubled for this <laughs> initiative roll. And technically, oh. you can use that plus ten bonus of that. Uh, uh, yes. Bro. You can Polish technically thing. use that plus 10 on this because it doesn't specify what that plus 10 is added to. But oh, would then you I get want plus to add it because to my agility first digit is 5. So that'd be 20. Yeah, you'd be adding 20 then onto whatever your, the die roll is. Oh my All god. Alright, so before Comet begins, he's going to take a shot at one of you guys. I guess I'm the closest to it. It hit me. Could be guardsman, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> That's what they're here uh, for. Meet you. Right, I'm, I'm gonna roll to see who he hits, so... That's All right. a good idea. And I already have it in my mind, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. oh, yeah, alright, okay. I'll just go ahead and make my dodge roll now. <laughs> hey, uh, Barista, he's shooting at you. <laughs> oh, Barista? <laughs> oh, sure. that? Sora. <laughs> Sora. <laughs> well, Sora. it was fun having this character. It may be a good idea to use that plus 10 on this roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, Your there's... Your name now is Bistra. <laughs> there's a Barista? Maybe the Starbucks hasn't closed after all. Get that no, no. His coffee. Former Barista. She would know. Starbucks <laughs> is definitely closed now. Uh, um, yeah, there's too much heresy in that yeah. iconography. Hey, there we go. Yeah, you dodge it, and it makes just a big hole in that wall. Um, and then he's doing one more attack. I call heresy. And he misses. They are, they're already heresy. You just see, like... From his, from whatever this head looks like, just two las guns go tsh, blasting at you guys. From his head. Laser beam eyes. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Right, uh, let me go ahead and sort by descending. So go ahead, Ericlades, go. Oh, shit, I'm first? Oh, God. All right. 16, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, what's my move speed? Cool, I can move five meters a turn. Wait, uh, your agility bonus is doubled, so you can move ten. Sweet. <laughs> ten meters a turn. Dug, 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 yeah. dug. <laughs> All right, uh, and my other half action is to uh, sustain, I think, my power. And that's it. Sweet. For Sora, yeah. go. Oh god, what's my movement speed? Ugh. Ooh, full 24, yay. But that's not doubled, is it? That is doubled. Okay. <laughs> I'm a normal human. Mostly. So, you know. I don't have the Space Marine goodies. Yeah. Uh, question to be, do I see uh, these entities on the bottom moving it, towards us? Your characters, can you see on the screen now? I can, I can see them, yeah. I can see three of them. 
The answer is yes, then. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, all the entities you're about to be seeing from here on out, fully formed, on the ground, shootable. Good to know. Or hanging out of the walls, and very shootable. Oh man, I don't remember how dual wielding works. I get a, uh, if you have an ambidextrous talent, you get a minus 10 on each shot. If you don't, it's minus 20 on each shot. From like each, each hand. Yeah, I've got a bunch of ambidextrous stuff, so I have no, uh, issues shooting too. I just don't remember if I roll both weapons damages. It's in the rules somewhere. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Oh god, I can't find it. Uh... <sighs> Two weapon fighting, page 246. Uh, it may use either hand to make an attack. Attacks made using the character's secondary hand suffers a minus 20, but not the primary. If the character has two weapon wielder talent, they may use the multiple attack combat action to attack with both weapons, but then each weapon suffers a minus 20. But if they also have ambidextrous, then that minus 20 drops to a minus 10. <clears throat> so if you're wielding two pistols you need the two weapon wielder talent in order to make two attacks with each pistol or one attack with each pistol at a minus 20 and if you have ambidextrous then it's minus 10 for each be back i get something but yeah but you may fire each weapon in a separate mode And you may fire at different targets with each of those weapons, but they must be within 10 meters or 10 meters of each other. Yeah, and so again, each that's... each weapon rolls a separate attack then. Yes. At a minus 20. Unless you have ambidextrous, I do. Then it's a minus 10. And the weapon itself may have some trait that allows it to be even better. I don't know. I remember for, the for these ones, for they they have uh, pistol grips, so I can Hold both. You had a trait where you could combine their. Uh, that was specifically for the other pistols. Okay. No penalty for long range. Back. Sorry, I made. I forgot I made. <laughs> I was like, better get that. All right. So who's doing what? Or Barroso. Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to remember how to do these. Ah, right. They don't count as pistols, so I can't use Gunfighter Saint with them, so it's still the minus 10. Okay. That's what it was. All right. Making your move? Uh, yep. I guess I'll uh, shoot the big dude in the back over there. Hey. 
He's enormous, so you get a plus 40 to hit him. Oh, jeez. Or is it plus 20 for the big guys? I think it was plus 20. Yeah, plus 20. I think it's just a plus 20. Unless he's, like, larger than the ship, then maybe a plus 40. No, plus 20. Bigger than that mech you guys fought on the ground. Hmm. Can automatic fire hit the same target multiple times? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then I'm automatic firing both of these weapons at that guy. Nice. Now, if it's full auto, then it's uh, a plus 20, I believe. But I think full auto is a full action. Which means you can't move and shoot at full auto. But I think you can burst fire and still move. Ah, okay. Yeah, roll your attacks. Oh, no, semi auto is also a full action. And full auto is a full action. Ah, oh, God. What does Storm Bolters do? All right, <clears throat> do your damage. Yeah, one sec again. Actually, hold up uh, one second. He's going to try to do something. Oh. Uh -huh. He dodged one of them. Which one, though? The first one. Of course. <laughs> I don't remember which storm bolters do because they had a quirk. You see it like more demorph and all that stuff to avoid the first round. Second round impacts it, whatever you think is the entity. Well, storm okay. doubles the amount of hits inflicted if it's a storm bolter. Yeah. So each G hit would inflict two hits. G deal minus thirty six. And what else? And you're using the so Psychic another minus bolts. My, another minus thirty six. Okay. You can make one additional hit because you're using the storm bolter. Right. Right. And he can do the Righteous Fury thing. Yep. Minus 32. Or minus 64, right? No, it's 32, because it's doubled. Mm-hmm. That's a confirmation. And then another 20. Yep, you look like you didn't face it. Karnoff, go. All right. I will, for now, just help my guilty team out and just engage in this one. Uh, that will be, let's see here. Uh... I think it's going to be. Yeah. All right. I hit it. Okay. Right, do your damage. And you're shooting, right? I am using melee. Okay. 
I'm charging does, it. Does everyone see the uh, blue circle I just put down around me? No. Nope. Curses. No. Cool. So, <clears throat> since that's uh, my penetration is doubled, since I have more of an increase of success. Minus, minus 10, so it's minus 18 to your 24. So. Uh, you are within range to get a plus 10 on anything. I'll just get a plus 10 to that damage. Okay, so Pantrax should would be 20, so... Wait, what? So, what, what? Why? Or, is that what your penetration is? It's My penetration, penetration is, five. is 5. And it's doubled, so it's going to be 10. 10, and then plus his other 10 would make it 20, right? The, the 10 is on sure. roll, not penetration. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, so it would be 34 damage instead of 24 damage. Okay. With 10 penetration. With 10 penetration. Do you deal 24 damage? All right. Yeah. He's here. Blood and God spill everywhere. Like, it's losing limbs. And, like, doesn't screech. It just looks at you with a blank stare. Neil Tyron, go. Ah, right. Sorry, got a mouthful of pizza. Um, I'm going to... A little early for pizza. You what? It's a little early for pizza. Bitch, I eat pizza for breakfast. Brother. Um, I'm just going to take my full action to uh, charge up here and be with, be with these guys here. And, and then... Remember, your movement is doubled. Remember, your agility bonus is doubled. Ah, so right. Movement is doubled. So in that case, I'll half move up to there and uh, get this advance roll out of here. I misclicked on that. Um, I'm going to shoot at uh, this guy. And Karnoth is in the line of fire there. Nothing I can't take. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to fire... I'm going to fire my Stardust Bolter at uh, that bug thing. And I believe... So I'm within, I'm within, I think, half range. Let me double check that. Yeah, I'm within half range. Uh, and I'm going to be doing semi-auto. Okay. Right. So I believe my modifier is like plus... Sorry, what? Are you going to use my plus 10 bonus on the attack roll or on a damage roll? I want to see if I can use it on the damage roll. Okay. So I'll just do a plus, plus 20 because I think that's what the bonus is. Okay, I succeeded. Damn. And... I'm going to do the damage. And I'm using those rounds so the... Uh, what is it that the... Does it ignore their armor? Or is it like... How does that work? The, Doubles uh, the damage roll and ignores their armor. So does the doubling take place before I put in uh, plus 10 to my damage roll or after? Well, you don't you, roll add, you would add 10 to the roll. Okay. So the uh, damage is going to be... Uh, right. Plus 10, so it's 30. And then... Uh, and then, uh, sorry, how does how does penetration work again? Like it's, I know how the penetration works. Their armor by five, but it shouldn't matter since it'll ignore all of their armor. Yeah, since you're using side bolts, you're ignoring their armor, basically. Essentially. Okay, the got armor it. And toughness. So it's just gonna deal thirty damage, unless the thing dodges or whatever. Or forty, depending on when that plus ten is actually added to the roll. I'm going to assume ten, it's added okay. afterwards. It says it doubles the, uh, the amount rolled of rolled dice. If it's double the amount of rolled dice. dice, and I'd have it's to roll It's not dice, again. it's rolled damage. Oh. So my damage yeah. roll was 10, that doubles to 20. Because you're doing roll. times yeah. 2, so uh, with uh, PEMDAS, <clears> you're going to do multiplication first and then the addition afterwards. Yeah. So it's plus 30. 
Or not plus 30, it's going to be 30 damage. Oh my god, look over here, guys! <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm too uh, preoccupied with my current uh, little problem over here. I'm going to look over there because I'm just as much of an idiot as that guardsman. <laughs> what do I see? Hold on, there's an intelligent guardsman. Ignore him, sire. <laughs> he just found something shiny on the ground and is excited over it. Ah, understood. <laughs> I will carry on then. Stupid guardsman, I mutter under my breath. If he makes it out alive, he will be reprimanded, sire. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be a nice servitor. But don't you see it too? It's right there. Oh god, they're all around us. They're in the vents. It's game over, man. They're so game over. They're not in the vents, they are the vents. Their sergeant will ensure that their Russians will have like uh, ship rust in their rations next time. How much damage you deal, Tyron? Uh, 30 total, uh, because... What target? Uh, hang on. I'm gonna ping him. He's, uh, this guy right here. Okay. Yep. 30 damage, ignoring armor and toughness. True. Yep. Went straight through. Sweet. Uh, and, uh, I'll just take the liberty of describing how I kill the creature. I fire a few blasts into uh, whatever oh, the fuck it that. is and cut it apart. That's it. Okay. <laughs> oh my beard! I'm gonna show you guys! I'm gonna <laughs> show you what I see! Uh oh. It's right here! I can't look. <laughs> I, I make a uh, disapproving yeah. leer over to the guardsman and say, yeah. It's your funeral. Oh, he runs into that, that, that room. Never to be seen again. We hear screams a couple minutes later. Well, the guardsman in his death throes. No, okay. So I Who yell. Knows? I he might have found a psychic camera. He's coming in and beat the shit out of everything. <laughs> he may be the hero of this game. We don't know yet. Blessed is the mind too small for doubt. The actual protagonist. And his is most blessed indeed. I'll, I will get him. Cover my flank, Godsman. I tell everybody, hold, hold, just stay your, stay your position. Let that Godsman fall to his death. <clears throat> yes, sir. If he if he stands out of the out of the line, there's no point in rescuing him. So, dude, are you ordering that the guardsmen do that? Yeah, I'm ordering the guardsmen to hold their position. I feel like that would require a command check. All right, he just kind of looks at you and continues on to go get the idiot. First Roll for command. Hey, yo. I agree with Dominego. Leave the guardsman to his fate. We all must walk to our own salvation. And I respond with, no, we need to stick together. If we separate, we're down. If we separate, Damn. we die. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Sorry, you're not my commander. Captain Malachius is. Then <laughs> runs off. <laughs> so I count two dead guards, man. <laughs> Captain Malachius, <laughs> perhaps... <laughs> Captain Malachius, perhaps you could talk some sense into your guardsmen. Don't talk to the captain. Don't He's concentrating captain. very hardly right now. Yeah. He's oh, ensuring right. these entities don't spawn on top of us. Ah, I see how it is. As soon as Malachius is distracted for a second, his kids, I mean guardsmen, just go on wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. Guardsman gun guardsman. What do you want? 
But the balls on that one, though. Timmy God, you're not my father. He's I'm either, do what I want to do. He's either very brave or very stupid. What about it's those? 88 Guardsmen 1 and 2 now instead of Mercenary Guardsmen. Captain Malachius turns to me and says, I trust that no, Guardsman, no, let your, him be. It's, oh, it's, it's in my it's head. It's in your head. It's in my head. Always in right. your head. He's kind of, he's kind of in a meditation <laughs> thing right now. <laughs> yeah, you kind of see him in a meditative state, just like with his hands up and just like holding on to dear life right now. <laughs> I, I turn to, I turn to him and nod and approve on the loud to continue what he's doing. Right, that's his turn. Dominguez, go. Okay. <clears throat> Because both the guardsmen, I believe, missed. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both yes. missed. You just see them pow pow! How far can I move? How far? Double your agility meter. Oh, I do have I can do double? Yeah, your essentially your half move is now or your full move is now your half move. Gotcha. As far as distance goes. So you can basically do a full move as a half action. Gotcha. Well, then I'm going to do a, f a full move and then use the heavy bolter. Awesome. It helps for distance. Each one of these cubes on the ground is 10 meters. Nice. And if I fire at the, the, the boss... far is he? I don't I don't have the have range be uh, benefit. But any other modifiers though? Since plus twenty because he's big. He really big. He takes up the whole hallway. So he big. So seven points of damage. Alright, and let's do your damage and then tell me the total. Oh, One fifty-five. <clears throat> Even when you double it against void entities. Yeah, I'm doing psyche, uh, psyche rounds, psyche cannon rounds. Right. Just yeah. Is that the one fifty? Is the total math? One fifty-five. Okay. Minus one fifty-five. You saw. You saw your impressive gunfire be absorbed by this entity. <laughs> All right. And our spawn is. Oh shoot. <laughs> No visible it it hurting. Um so it's going to move. Let's see how far does this thing. He has a righteous fury you can try and do. Yeah, yeah. Any righteous, righteous fury. Oh yeah, any righteous fury, use you yeah, use everything you got available. Yeah, so uh, what, what, what was righteous <laughs> fury again? And technically you did more damage than the 155 because the damage is doubled on the die roll, so Right. That's why I said make sure give me the math doubled. Five plus twelve. Plus another five. Wait, do I uh, plus do roll four, per hit? Plus another four. Plus another plus, 155. Uh, 14. So he actually did 205. Okay, so I'll add another 50. That 50. should. Okay. Oh, yeah, and your psyche round. So there, that's double damage, right? Double on yeah. the roll. So all the additional stuff added to it doesn't get doubled, but yeah. Got it. But he's got a righteous fury, so you know, just make another attack roll for the same modifiers. Let me make sure. Yeah. Hey, one more hit. Is that one more hit? Yeah, righteous oh, fury oh. is just one extra attack. That However, you like get another righteous yeah. fury, and that's. Wait, wait. Uh, do I? Uh, so how many damage can I do? Well, that one's thirty-nine that? damage. Wait Even second. doubled? Uh, I thought it was doubled damage. So the roll da the roll value is doubled. Oh, okay. So minus 39. Uh, and then you can do another Righteous Fury. No, 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 no. Uh, you have to do an attack. Oh, well, I was thinking, like, do I hit him five more times or no. just hit him once? No, Righteous Fury is just control. one extra hit. Oh, got it. Okay. You still make the same attack roll with the same modifiers, but it's only oh, one extra. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> 
That's a roll roll, too. Does it matter where he hits? Oh, oh my god. Great. All right. Oh so, my uh, god. Minus what? That's, that's 49 damage. What okay. is going on? Okay, minus what? Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, that's plus 18 on top of that. So 51. How many more bullets you got? He's probably going to be at ammo. There, there we go. There we go. And uh, that one's 35. Let's yeah, see. but still, it's still up. It looks like it absorbs pretty much all of that. Technically, Why? 11, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, but it should be real close to dead. Maybe. Find out, won't we? Yeah, we Check. Will. <laughs> I think I did my upgrades well. <laughs> you did. <clears throat> but yeah, you see no visible sign of being hurt or phased by what you did. Oh, jeez. A lot of a lot of shrapnel was created when you hit him. <clears throat> I have a feeling we're it's it's pretty much a boss with the health of a ship. <clears throat> I'm starting to get that feeling. You'll, you'll find out as more as you fire upon it. So the enemy gets to fire. <clears throat> he gets to move. So let me go look at his movement speed. Hopefully Another, it's low. You're other. you're all done. I'm you done. done. Okay. I'm looking. Oh, that's the guards. I'm looking at the wrong guy. <clears throat> now, if we really wanted to go super technical, he forgot to roll that extra 1d6 on each of those damage rolls. Was that 13? <sighs> yeah, but I'm not going to do that, Matt. <laughs> Technically, those are all roll damage, too, aren't they? So you just see the giant. <laughs> you just see a giant uh, amalgam of weapons, grenade launchers, torsos. You oh, see God. a couple guardsmen alive in this thing, screaming and trying to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I have a feeling that we need to just run away from this thing as far as possible. If my attack only made a small dent on it. Right. Yeah. Your team leader, you're the one who's ordering us around. Yep, and it's attacking. Uh, let's see. Du -du -du, it's not done yet. Got, what's that? Three? Got three more. Is that four? That's its fifth attack. And it's last one. It has six attacks, huh? <clears throat> hit, hit, hit. Three hits, three misses. And Come on. I, I'm I'm gonna make those rolls now. So. I'm just gonna get my dodge ready. That's a good idea. Just like a big red button on your desk, just dodge. <laughs> so, oops. So, so this, this, option is a dodge yeah, option. This garment gets vaporized. Oh boy. Okay, the next attack. Uh. <coughs> Demagus, you're gonna be shot at. And. So go ahead and get your dodge ready. Yeah, go ahead and get your dodge ready. What's the, uh. You can deal 14 at yeah. What's the base modifier? Huh? Uh, it's going to be zero. zero? Yeah. Yeah, base just then zero. It can be negative 10 because of my armor. Unless we reset our armor before we got here. No, it's your, still, it's your previous armor, I think. Yep. Oh. You oh. barely dodged that. You just see your last... <laughs> Right it grazes the, right. your pauldron as you cartwheel out of the way. Okay, and the last attack. The uh, shark, you're gonna get shot at. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> For eleven. 
Who is Shark? Nah. It, it's right. The, oh my god. Nice dodge. I rolled a one. What? And you still got that? Your yeah, ones are crit successes in this. Right. And then. For dodge? Well, that now I was able to get a plus 30 yeah. on it because I've got my uh, possibility shield up. So all I get a right. plus 20 on all my dodge rolls. And I use my plus 10 for this current <laughs> round on me. Okay, that's his full action. These guys are going to move. So that giant amalgam thing is just blocking the entire hallway now? Is that it? Yep. Hallways are huge, too. You could drive, you know, big trucks through it. This is like a... You've seen, you've seen the interior of uh, war barges and such. It's like a flying cathedral. Well, this is a 20-meter wide hallway. I is think it, a truck can fit in 20 is, meters, but it would each have a hard time. 10, 10 meters. I see. So. Yeah, that makes sense. That's perfect. Perfectly makes sense. I'm not saying it's like ginormous, like uh, like outrageous. an aircraft hangar, or some shit. Yeah, nothing like that. And you're in corridors. Just so you know, I can take the full, like max damage. All right, the, ladies. The shot yeah. and still not get phased. Okay. I'm going to do an unfettered uh, an unfettered psychic power here. I'm going to do Rending Maw. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, when I succeed, if I succeed, uh, everybody within like uh, five meters of here. So basically, just those two creatures are gonna have to make a uh, a dodge roll. Got it. If I succeed the my my willpower check, and I failed, so I'll go ahead and use my second willpower bonus. On my second uh, fate point. And I got a 24, which is not double, so I do not peril. Okay, I would, cool. I would like to transfer one of my fate points to our librarian in advance because I know that if he runs out of fate points, shit's going to start hitting the fan. You can just do it at the moment as well. You can, you can do true. it, but you can, when something goes wrong, you can ask for fate point already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I just wanted to. Technically, like... you're not supposed to be able to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. There, there's an entire faith talent for me to be able to do that for people. Well, the GM has spoken. I think before he said we could do that. Yeah, yeah. we are. We're also faithful. Yes, we're very faithful to the emperor. I would say then that in that particular talent, you should the GM should allow like a bonus on top of that fate roll. Yeah, it's, anyway, it's a good idea. I like that. Um, anyway, so uh, they both have to make a dodge roll now. Oh no! Not the idiot guardsman again. Sir, over here! You hear in the distance! Oh, it's alright. No, it's italicized. Like yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, I know. I, I saw it after I read it, yeah. Nice. E even with his descriptors, he's dumb. Uh, so they're doing dodge checks? Yes. So you're saying he's even dumber than his description of being an idiot. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, cool. Damn. <laughs> I love that. They have a dodge of 30, and they fucking nailed it. <laughs> Both of them. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> well, there's 10d10 I could have been doing on them, but no. 10d10, yeah. Jesus Christ. Here you go. Well, it's 5d10 for the first roll, <clears throat> and then they have to make an even harder dodge roll the next time, and if they fail that, that's another 5d10. Nice. Wow. But they succeeded. All right. Mom? Oh, right. Uh... Yeah, it's my turn. Moth, go. Yeah. Um, give me one sec. Moth, uh, you might want to turn yourself up a bit. Uh, you're a bit that was quiet. Me not being very loud. Very loud. Oh, okay. I was shoot him. I was going to do something else, but I was just shoot him. Sorry, who are I shooting at? Uh, big guy. Big guy. Is he going to attempt to dodge? The big guy? No, he doesn't dodge at all. Do your damage. He dodged last time. No, 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 no. That was, that was the old mug no, shooting I'm... at. The two yeah, fells. he's not dodging. I, no, no. When I shot him last time, he dodged one. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. He's not dodging this time. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Oh, nice. How much damage? The... Okay. What's the clip size of your poachers, Moth? 60. My God. Yeah, they're storm bolters. Okay, just so give me technically your total damage. every bullet fired is two bullets. Yep. Give me your total damage. Go ahead and add it all up. Give me your total damage. Oh, right. Yeah, uh yeah, Mug, did you get that message? Uh yeah, yeah, I see that. And then after that, Carlos up. Mm, yep. Uh, I'll do a regular, a regular three attacks on this poor sod, and we'll be at plus ten, I think. Yeah, ninety-nine damage. By the way, is that all the bonuses too? Uh, yep. Okay. Make a nice size dent. 
And what do you think? It's his shoulder. Were you not going to righteous free that second shot? What do you mean? You got a second fury. I did at, at yeah. the end. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it ended at 14. I see the 14, 18, and then 14. Yeah, but the 18 had the, uh, this is the Righteous Fury. Sorry, the 18's a damage. Yeah. Yeah. But that's Righteous Fury damage, so you could, you get another attack. Oh, sorry. I have four max rate of fire on these. Uh, righteous ah. Fury doesn't care about rate of fire. So, like, if you single shot a thing, you, know, you get this thought that was another limiter shot. for Righteous Fury. I, th I thought it did. Rate of fire. Uh, I mean, if you read the Righteous Fury, all it says is that you get another attack. So if you have like a single fire shot attack, you still get another shot. Mm. Like if you're fighting a sniper, shooting a sniper rifle, you get a second shot with that sniper I, rifle. I think what you guys are confusing is the fact that uh, Righteous Fury works differently for full auto weapons. And Moth is using a semi-auto. Right, but where, though, does it say that Righteous Fury is restricted to... Oh, my God, rolling. I don't know. So for I this encounter, for this encounter and going forward, he can Righteous Fury. Go ahead, Moth. Oh, okay. That's probably the only thing to keep you guys alive. Um... And that's another what damage? 26? Another 17. Oh, 17. All right, I'm going to reroll one of my attacks as part of my talent. Yep, and all three succeed, so I'm going to do the damage now on the right. entity I'm fighting. What's your penetration? Uh, well, uh, so for the first one, it's going to be doubled. So two of them will be doubled. One will not be doubled. Okay, where, where is it? There you go. Um, Yep, they take 20 up, 28 off the top, so. And there you go. Okay, so penetration 10. So that means uh, 18 is absorbed through yours. So that's, I think I let me bust that gate clear. So the first and the third one are doubled. The one in the middle is not doubled. The damage okay. rolls. And you can choose which one, that's fine. No, 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 no. It's how I rolled. My second damage roll was not two, so uh, it's not uh, doubled. My hit roll was not two, so it's not doubled. Okay. So let's see. 24 minus. And since I got a Righteous Fury, I can roll again. Yeah, six and eight. Get through. Minus six. Minus six. I succeeded in build. Its penetration will also be doubled. Okay. And it, it it appears to be hurting your eyes, whatever this thing is. Oh, it's still not dead. All right. It's hanging on by a thread. <laughs> it literally has one HP. Nice. <laughs> I cut off its, a few of its tentacles, hack into its middle I mean, center mass, and still standing. Okay. Yep. It has one HP. Uh, you just made a fate point. Kill that. With the one HP left. If you want to? That's fine. I think, I think one of us will get him. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So, Karnoth just went. Neil Tyron, go. Okay. First of all... I would like to attempt an evaluate check to see if we need to get through that big massive thing in front of us or if there's another way out of here that we can avoid it altogether. If we destroy the thing ahead of us, it'll make everything else easier. Hmm. I understand well, we where you're coming to... from, brother. However, I think our priority is to get out of here as quickly as possible. We're not we going to survive we against... You what? We came from the top. We've, uh, we came from the top of this we uh, came corridor. From the north. Okay, the but I'm still I'm still doing an evaluate check uh, with Boko's permission to see which is the best way out of here. Is that okay, Boko? So 
style. Look, a rocket boat. Uh, say that again. Say that again. Okay. My question is, I would, can I do an evaluate check to f yeah, try and figure out what the best way out of here is? Okay. Yeah, tactical would be a tactical thing. So tactical. All right. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, let's tactics. see if I have, let's see if I have tactics on here. Um, I do not have a tactic skill, but I have logic and I have evaluate. Uh, Everyone has a tactic skill. Oh, right, oh, oh. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm not looking at the uh, correct thing. Okay. Yeah. So is it a roll for tactics? Wait, wait. I can kill the thing because I have the plus 10 bonus from heal mug. I can uh -huh. use plus 10 damage. There you go. Aha! Uh -huh. Dead. All right. He only had one HP, so I don't really care. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what's the uh, check on that, on the tactics roll? I'm going to be plus 10. Okay. Plus 10. Hey, Lameo. All right. Uh, so, tactically, with all information that's known to you, because unless, yeah, Mike, you said, did you, did you tell him all the details of what you know, or just make things easier? Eh. If we kill the thing in front of us, it makes everything else easier. Okay. That's, okay. That's uh, what I said. Okay, so based on all the information available to you, I'm racking your my best brain. course of action, right, and is to find a more defensible position than this. And in your mind, you think this is kind of an unwinnable situation. Brothers, as crazy as this sounds, I believe we need to fall back and dig in somewhere because obviously this. This monstrosity in front of us is not going to die very easily. Yeah, you're thinking... And then I respond, then respond, but look how slow it's getting to us. This is a, this is probably a good choke point right here. We maybe retreat a little bit more back, but I don't... Where, where would be a better defensible position? But, well, the I mean, you see, brother, the choke point... Uh, while it will help us you funnel our... Full action? Uh, uh, do you want to spend a full action to, to discuss this? Uh... I was about to say, and then a giant philosophical debate opens up. <laughs> right, I'm, so you can spend a full action and discuss it with your comrade uh, on your comms. I'm, I'm just... No, I'm just going to ask uh, my... Uh, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll let you do one more sentence and I'll have to cut you off there because it's getting all right, to... Alright, um... Uh, let me think. Uh... Uh, uh, dude, dude, dude on the runs character, uh, Dominego. Domingo. What, what is your order, brother? You are the squad leader. What are your orders? So what that's you the said, you got. What yeah. you said is noted. And you can respond. We'll stay here for now. Right. Roger. So I'm going to use my second bit of my action. Uh, I'm going to try and let's see i mean did your character do anything other than just talk no yet? i okay then you so still the, have a full action that's why i was going to stop you like if you keep continue you're going to have to use it well, your wouldn't, full turn. wouldn't the tactics throw in the conversation be like a half action i was giving you a free action okay that's fine so i'm going to try and uh up, bounce a crack grenade off this wall and see if i can hit these three guys right here go for it all right uh, modifier on that two hit roll. That's right. I get plus ten willpower tests. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, uh you know what? I'm just gonna add a plus ten to the two hit roll from uh, Yil Mug. Yep. So plus twenty all together. Uh, plus twenty. Okay. Yep. Plus ten and then plus plus his other ten. Oh man. Small point of all right. Small point of my damage was apparently wrong. It should be. Sort of, kind of doubled, but whatever. It's okay. I mean, it's still, de it's dead. So yeah, going yeah. forward, we'll we'll correct that. So, so these these three guys closest to the ping. That's who I. That's where I landed my nade. Okay. Uh. uh so the blast so should hit all of them unless they dodge. Yeah. So penetration six. So twenty two of that damage is absorbed. Cracks don't have much blast though. So something uh, so, that may help us. 
is uh, if our squad leader issues the uh, strong point squad mode. Uh, someone that basically has a free action to return can nominate a target for everybody to get a plus 20 on both ballistics and weapon skill tests against that target. I'm sure Dominguez is going to do that, <sighs> right? Uh, am I able to do that? Do I have that as a skill? Uh, it is part of our oath uh, that we took. It's one of the uh, the three squad abilities that we took that we got for being a part of the, the oath of the emperor. You know, you know what? What page is that on? Uh, Two twenty nine are the oaths. So we have fire for effect, uh, regroup, and strong point as our squad abilities. Uh, and strong point itself is on uh, got two twenty four. So strong point two two four. Yes. And it says it requires a full action. Is that my full action? Yeah, it's uh, whoever is uh, setting up the. The thing typically it's the squad leader that initiate uh, initiates it, but I think it could technically be anybody who initiates it. Our uh, idiot guardsman is flapping his gums again. Um, but once it's initiated, because it's sustained, it basically lasts until it stops. Which in this case is whoever is designated the center point. If they ever move, then the strong point stops. Gotcha. Well then, okay. But it's a free plus 20 on all attack rolls against uh, different targets every turn. Right. Hang on, hang on, I got a, you know, I got a speaking roll. So, <laughs> me and the other guysmen found a rocket boat. I'm too weak to lift it. I need help. <laughs> so by rocket boat, I'm assuming they found Sorry, a canoe I, with a rocket strapped on it. Sorry, I think you need to come to take a look at this. Oh, he's right, it's technically a rocket boat. Our apothecary could have come and help them. <laughs> That's true. But he may she actually could, be onto not, something. Not so if we're gonna place, so I would need help with this leadership thing or leadership stuff. Right, and Captain Malachius is holding the. Um, I don't think it's your your go around. Oh, Sylvester's deal's going. I guess I guess that works. Because hmm? it's sure, sure, sure. Just, she's a, she's an ally, she's an ally, so she can move on the ally's turn. So that that that, that makes sense. That's fine, doable. Um, we could, could we get one of the AI to start the uh, stronghold? AI. Uh, well, the only uh, other NBC, one just sorry. The only other one just left the area, so no. Um, it would have to be one of us as a part of the Death Watch squad. As a part of a kill team, yeah. I was gonna say, dude, are you saying that Boko's intelligence is only artificial? That's <laughs> never what uh, I here. implied. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna relinquish control usually, of whoever's doing that. Usually, I sh whenever I think of NPC, I just automatically think AI. Yeah, because we're all it's video not true game here. players. Right, but anybody that's within the the squad that is a Death Watch member. Could initiate it as a full action. Well, roll twenty is being weird. I'm not able to pop up uh, images, but I'll just draw it since it's not for whatever reason. Let me get images. Uh, you don't have sufficient administrative rights for this account. Uh, you need to buy the Super Deluxe Premium Edition in order to uh, be able to put images on the screen. Right. So, so yeah. Uh, so as the vestige deal comes in. Uh, she just describes to you it is a uh, technically what he says is kind of kind of a rocket boat, but not really. It's it's a tank with a rocket launcher on the top of it. It's, it's a a whirlwind. It's so it's not a boat, boat, at, boat all. at all, <laughs> right? Oh. It's like I don't know what he's thinking. So, but it's I mean you would I mean a, a guardsman would call it yeah a missile boat whatever right? It's a damn sh thing that has a bunch of missiles, kills things. Is, is it tainted? 
Well, well I know what I'm going to do on my turn now, since I'm a tech marine and also a former tank commander, and that's an armored vehicle. That's for our librarian to determine whether it's tainted or not. Please make sure it's tainted. If it's Dominguez, go. Dominguez. Uh, this is it's difficult to, to decide. I want to kill this thing first. Well, can... A whirlwind would certainly help with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then, then, don't didn't he say it's like on his last leg? No, but you don't know. He said no. he was looking don't... really hurt. We don't know the status of this thing. We just know that it exists. And the, the little one was, yeah, the oh. little one was, yeah, this one over here, this little guy, this little. Oh, I can't, freaking a, this little guy right here. Yeah, this hey, is one, he one was. HP. Yeah, no, no, but he's hurt. Yeah, the one pretty, I killed. With no, was the one, one that Karnoff killed. And he was one, one HP. HP. But he, remember, he was super dead. I fired my bolter at that one that just got pinged, so he's injured. Okay. Yeah. Then, what? Where do you guys think is the best? Okay, I misunderstood the entire situation. Mm -hmm. So I'll make so, a tactical decision. So go ahead. Yeah, we don't know what the big guy's at. Right. Nope. I'm starting to consider near tyrant's uh, tactical suggestion. Right, and my suggestion was that uh, we need to fall back and find a more defensible position to fight this giant thing in. Well, I can tell you that I can tank its shots if need be, even at their max uh, potential. Right. Let me reread strong, strong Point again. Analysis paralysis. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we're going to... I tell the group, hey, on your turn, go retreat to... Uh, go oh, ah. retreat the corridor to the west. And they're going to say to you, turn with the turn. <laughs> what is this oh, turn you when speak able. of? Like, the Rowan's up, also up, up here. Yeah, the Rowan's this way. All right, rephrase. When able, retreat to the west, western corridor <laughs> to be in a more defensive position. Mm -hmm. Uh... And I will set up a strong point. One of us should set up a strong point so that we can have more uh, power. Firepower. Okay. So Shouldn't we set up in this door then? This door? Yeah, because the whirlwind's up here. All right. Uh, Boko, I would know this because I'm a tank commander, but I'm asking you, how much crew does uh, a whirlwind need in order to uh, drive and gun? You just need, I don't know, two. Two? All right. Yeah, that's that's, I mean, because you have one guy on a little stick turning the gun. Because I mean, they're in the future, so I don't imagine they have a bunch of guys loading missiles. I mean, Got some it. vehicles might have that, but a whirlwind's a very technological uh, trip. Okay. Uh, yeah, but this is 40k, where they have really stupid decisions for really advanced <laughs> technologies. So they could right. still have a loader and a gunner and a thing, and a driver and a commander, and probably and you an know, assistant driver and a radio and operator something. and a bow gunner. Yeah. Like, like, who knows? Let's assume it has an autoloader and be done with it. <laughs> See, now what you really got to do is cut your head off and then put it on the joystick, and that's how you drive. Oh, mm -hmm. so you become a servitor. Correct. Probably <laughs> what probably what I would want to do on my turn, then. Well, it's not my turn, so I'll wait till it's my turn. I'll wait patiently. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. are we going to be falling back now since uh, that's what dude is ordering? That right. Do I, do I just send a uh, command? Yep. So fall back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to obey orders. Okay, now, so. Any yeah, to me. No, I mean, it's you're, a command. You're just no, telling you're us. The... You're, you're telling us. No, okay. you're, you're not telling an NPC. They can say yes or no, the players. Okay. Um. So, no, I'm going to stay in this hallway alone and die. Ah, you can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that, that is my command, and I'm just going to, uh, let's see. You're going to fall back, move. Yeah. Maximum movement. What is charge again? Is it 
move, then do a melee or something? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, are you gonna do a full run? Yeah. Gonna do a full run. <clears throat> do a tactical I remember retreat. Remember it's doubled. Since you have the double agility bonus, it's doubled. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just gonna be right here. Then I saw this contraption. Yep, you see the you see the whirlwind. Hmm. So that's see, what you, it, right. And you see the guardsman trying to like open the door, like lift it. <laughs> <laughs> that thing could help. <clears throat> yeah, but that's I just made a full action. Told everyone okay. to retreat. Uh, after I've seen turn. the ro the actual roll in, once they see the roll in, then I got an idea and told everyone, let's be with the roll in. <coughs> Whirlwind. Whirlwind. Okay, so I'm rolling to see who gets attacked by this next attack coming up. Uh oh. I think that was Moss character. All right. Moss character and see Ghost Lady. Black the world. Okay. You gonna attempt to dodge? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is something worse. Void yes. Horror Rifle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? You just see a giant maw open up from it. Ooh. And just a laser beam. Fade point. Fade point. Fade point. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, barely. <laughs> oh, everyone else, everyone else around him within five meters, or er, yeah, five meters do a dodge check. Sweet. So it's gonna be whoever the. It's gonna be me. Yeah. It's yeah, it's gonna be, be you. you. Dodge. Hmm. Just barely, yeah, not just barely. You just artfully dodge. You're able to sense, like, hey, this thing's fucking doing something. Fuck, dodge! And it, you just see that giant cannon pop out of its maw and blast straight down that hallway, eviscerating the ground beneath you and throwing shrapnel in all directions. Which bounces harmlessly off of our hardened space marine armor. But he dodged. He, he dodged it. Uh, no, I mean, there's no one nearby. Oh, was the there a guardsman within five meters of, of, oh, five, of him? No, there's like I, ten, but whatever. I, I meant the, uh, the hull turned into the shrapnel, not the beam itself. Yeah. Sweet! <clears throat> okay. And now it's going to move forward. Oh, fuck. And... It's getting closer! Up. Uh, Eric Lady's go. Sweet. So, I'm gonna do the same thing over here, except in this spot, where it's gonna hit all three of these guys, unless there's another one right here, in which case it's gonna hit all four of them. There's... there's about six yeah. in there. Also, bear in mind, I did issue a retreat, because <clears throat> we're not in a really good position. Right. But I'm gonna do a thing. <laughs> okay. Because uh, this should, you know, hopefully leave pressure on the retreat. You'll let the wizard cast his spells. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Alright, get the hose again. <laughs> okay, so all four of them need to make a dodge check. There's six in the hallway. Well, it's everyone within like five meters of that point, so I figured oh. there's only four that could actually get hit by it. So. Oh yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. 
damn it. All right, well, whatever. At least four <laughs> of them got hit. Uh, two of them. Two of them. Two out of four ain't bad. Yes, yeah, it's, it's totally what, what I said. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, well, I mean, could have been better. Uh, both of them take 20 damage with uh, 5 pen. But on their next turn, they have to make another check or take another 5d10 damage. Okay, so 20, 5 pin, so nothing gets through? Really? 28 armor. Oh my god. Does it, does it avoid, does other it... Guys, really? Yes. Uh, it does PRD10 rending damage with no penetration. Oh, not even any penetration. Cool. Okay. Does it okay? Does it? What about for void Sweet. stuff? Is there anything in there for void stuff to to go through that? No. no. So unfazed. Sweet. What does smite do? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's I'm that's clearly here. the power I should have cast was smite. Should have uh, followed followed orders. <laughs> I can pull back after doing that. It's only a half action. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Did not know that. That's why I have did 14 it. mags of the side cannon bolt stuff. That stuff's crap. I'm going to just smite him. Uh, well, smite also only would have only had like a 5 uh, PR uh, penetration and just 5d10 damage. <coughs> oh, if I could just run up and hit it with my stick. That would ignore everything. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do right. that. Well, in order to follow the orders given to me, I'm going to have to uh, drop my possibility shield. Uh, well, technically, he's not. you're not under his command. You're under Moth's command. So Moth can give the order what to do. Oh, that's true. I but, guess. but you can also agree to do what the rest of the Death Watch team wants to do. Right. Yeah, but right. I follow a chain of commands, so yeah, chain of I mean, commands, muff. I'm gonna We're look at back because I don't want to get hit by that void horror rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? No, I don't want to get hit by it. <laughs> I mean, I could survive at the moment two of those hits. Oh Jesus Christ! I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, no, it would cripple the character, but I could do it. Technically. All right. Uh, well. Um... Uh, I'll have to drop the uh, the possibility shield in order to fall back. So what does the possibility cool. shield do again? But now that I know my psychic powers ten. are completely ah. worthless against these things. Cool. Yeah, so no more plus tens on anything. Until I, you know, repop it up again. Right. All right. Uh, Basora, go. Barista. Yeah, yeah. barista. <laughs> the Starbucks barista that has been around so, for 10,000 years to know that Starbucks closed at that time. My run speed's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm back here now. <laughs> nice. All right. And that's uh, without the jetpack, which doubles that. All right, Karnoff, mm -hmm. go. All right. We're going back into this room, correct? Yep. Yep. All righty, then. Let's see how far I can go. <laughs> I'm going to try to use my jetpack, maybe. Let's see. Uh, so for a full run, 60... Oh, wait, no. I don't even need to. I can just... Yeah, yeah you should probably just walk it. My it was doubled. My full run is 120 meters. Yeah. So I'm I'm next to. Yep. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Uh, Neil Tyron, go. Okay. Uh, I am going to do a full run, which is 42 meters for me. So I should that end should up be about much higher. 
Yeah, but I'm did also you... counting for the agility bonus. My agility did you is my no, no. Did stat. you double your agility bonus? Because uh, what's? Uh, hang on. Oh, I might have done this wrong. Okay, you also have to input it. You see the little miscellaneous under your movement, under run. Uh, let's see. Is that what weapons and talents? No, miscellaneous yeah. is uh, what we determined was the <clears throat> bonus movement from your. Parent. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, so I I went from four to eight in miscellaneous, and uh, that doubled, or it didn't double it, but I can run 66. So, let's see. From if your armor has an agility bonus attached to it, up that by that number, too. All right. I am going to run over here, and then also get to the uh, thing. And on my way there... I'm going to order uh, some nearby guardsmen to follow me and help me crew the whirlwind, and I'm going to be the acting tank commander of it. They sort of tell you the same. Which is what? But they told, dude. Captain Lackis is our commander, not you, dirtbag. Do you I... want to survive or not? Captain Malachius is busy. I only follow Captain Malachius' orders. Captain <laughs> Malachius is busy. You're under my command now. I'm going to try and make a command then... check. As soon as I hear this, I ask Malachias, can I take, can we take commands of these soldiers? Of these, um, <clears throat> what you call it? Guardsmen. You want my mommy? I mean, commander. <laughs> soon that's going to switch to, you're not my real commander. <laughs> I ask Malachias if we can take a uh, command of the guardsmen. Garsman. My real commander will let me do whatever I wanted to. All right, Boca, what's... What's the uh, difficulty on the command check? Boko? I mean, they're not going to listen to you, even if you were to succeed, but plus 20? Uh, okay, you hear that so in your that, head? That's, uh, that's plus 30, because I have a plus 10 bonus to command tests innately from my power armor history. Sure. But, uh, oh Domingus, you hear that in your head? Yep, I heard it. I Sweet. failed. <clears throat> Once I heard, uh, Blackus, I tell the Death Marines, let them be. Let them do their, let them do their thing. They're not going to listen to us, so we'll, well just need to, uh, work yep. around this. I need All someone right. to crew this whirlwind with me. I can't right, do it so myself. I'll Yep, so allies turn, so uh, they set charges, localized charges, and they demolish this hallway here. Oh, I uh, don't know if this matters, but everybody you can see me is immune to fear. Got it. Cool. Uh, I can't see you. Why? Because mm -hmm. you're so beautiful that it makes them uh, want to have More sex with less, you, and then yes. they become fearless? Mm, no, so, not like that, but oh. sure. It's an unshakable okay. faith thing. Got it. Right. So, yep. So this guardsman, uh, right, you just see him run in the hallway and basically uh, Akbar and destroy that oh, hallway. <laughs> so did that he, guardsman. Did he plant the explosive dead. successfully? Yes. You just saw okay. him. You just saw him take out. As successfully uh, as you had in the past. <laughs> right. So, I mean, uh, Yilmug knows that uh, Malachius is talking to them like he's talking to you guys. So he's still holding his shield up. So you just saw that guardsman take out, like, like you assume is some super high explosives, strap it to his chest and run out in the hallway and collapses the hallway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> mm-hmm. Running out of time. Okay, uh, end of combat. He tell uh, you guys hear your head. Move quickly. You see the guardsmen pile up into the whirlwind there. Oh, they go in the whirlwind. Are they crewing it, or are they just in the back, like the crew uh, carrier compartment, or the uh, infantry? Whirlwinds don't have a crew. Oh, they don't. No, okay. it, it's the only, it's uh, literally gunner, commander, maybe a loader and a driver. Driver. 
Okay. Right. And if it's got, you know, extra sponsoon gunner positions, then, you know, a gunner for each one of those, but... And, uh... It's not a Tyrant. Kid. Right, uh, the whole squad, Death Watch, you guys here in your head, just stay away from the whirlwind. I'm doing something. Orders received. Right. But, yeah, uh, I, I mean, he's not telling this, but it means I probably should find somewhere to, to take cover and have positions. So his squad's doing something right now. So, I'm going to make some rolls here. So are we out of combat for the moment? Oh, yeah. All right. You hear on the other side that thing blasting at the debris made. Is everybody ran beyond visual range? Couldn't really. So see we can start on. moving without the initiative thing. Right. Okay. So we're all gonna be breaking line of sight, hopefully. That big nasty thing. Oh, I mean, you guys, the line of sight's already broken technically. Here, I'll, right. I'll put a hide. Uh, cause that Al Akbar guy. Basically <laughs> made debris, so. I uh, this weird box is that supposed to be the whirlwind? Yeah, I uh, I'm not able thing. to. Yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't. The whirlwind. oh, I can't. God, the whirlwind's just a pair of treads. No. No, for whatever <laughs> reason, I can't open up my assets. But it's really weird. Yeah, it's okay. To, we I can go. we can use our imagination, and if you're catching this on the vod, just look up uh, whirlwind. Whirlwind 40k, right. Warhammer 40k, Whirlwind missile tank, or whatever. Right. So you see the Inquisitor and Malachius uh, make their way behind the uh, the thing. And you see that uh, Malachius just has his eyes closed and just backing up, holding something back. I tell the squad, then, "Hey, let's clear this room so that we don't get any surprises." Yeah, we got another two in the back over here. Right. What's your character's name again there? Yeah, uh, young mug. Eric Pleiades. Or Eric Pleiades. I don't know. However, however the EI is going to be pronouncing this name, it's uh. Eric Pleiades? If it's EI, it's Ereclades. If it's IE, it's Ereclades. That's up to the character, the, the, the player to decide. Yep. Uh, you see the guards are piling out. They tell you to, yeah, move away from that wall there. Which wall where? You mean the uh, whirlwind? This that they're running away from? No, 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 no. If they're pointing to the wall, they said stay ah. clear of the wall in the whirlwind. All right, they're going to shoot through the ship then. Yep. That was that was supposed to be uh, me, not an idiot guardsman. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that guardsman's got a high willpower. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys that are non-psychic, you just see Captain Malachi's head just explode. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Sorry, sorry, that was my bad. Uh, oops. <laughs> uh, no, you know what he was doing. He, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what he was, what he is doing. <laughs> you know this is he's paralyzing that entity. He buy you guys some time. He used all his psychic ability to do that to paralyze everything on the ship. Essentially, I am I am horrified by watching my uh, uh, my. Oh, Captain, my Captain Malachius' right. his head explode, and I'd like to make a willpower check to see if that fucks with me at all. Go for it. All right. this is the second leader <laughs> has blown the their own leader. head off. Yeah, 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 this here. is like... No, no, <laughs> oh, God! Here. Captain oh, Malachius, what have you done? Ah! I mean, and you it can... Does, it, it I does start panicking. right now, but our squad bonus does give you a plus 10 on will saves. You, you can inform him what's going on. That's true. He, he I rolled a 98 on that willpower check. I just I want you guys to appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know if there's any reasoning for uh, to help him understand what's going on. I mean, you can you try. Can I'm just letting you know you can you can do that if you want. So, so am I now sustaining the paralyzation part, or like because I know I helped him? No, but no. Like, how am I helping him? No, with your willpower check, you uh, your psi psi power helped him boost up his psi rating, and he's able to just. Zap that entity. 
where it, it cannot you helped move. overcharge his brain, which made his brain explode. You killed him. Correct. Yeah, but none of you know that. Um, so yeah, uh, and, yeah, and the guardsmen. Um, <clears throat> One of them, like, uh, take one of their belts, lash it on the uh, the lever of the whirlwind, and the whirlwind goes driving into that wall. And as it hits the wall, it explodes, and a giant hole is made in that uh, that wall. And you see all that critters destroyed. I would like to stake what gear Captain Lucky's had and try to preserve it. So you're going oh, to pilfer so his we're body. Our commander's corpse, huh? <laughs> the only one that should be guy. pilfering that corpse is our apothecary, apothecary and for a gene steed. Yeah, yeah. the apothecary is oh, already yeah, on she it. Would, she would definitely run over there and grab that. Well, how Are do you, you uh, like, uh, you have, like, relics, chapter relics and stuff from Fallen Brothers, which, I mean, they're clearly, clearly have been salvaged post-battle or mid-battle. Right. So the guardsmen tell <laughs> you, uh, quickly, follow us. I go north. I place a hand on uh, Nil, T uh, Nil Tyron's uh, shoulder. Like, he bought his precious time, brother. Don't waste it. Understood. I'll try and pull myself together. Alright. Taking what I can, I just also follow. Alright. Uh, there is... Yeah, they open up a little small hatch. Big enough for you guys just to, like... For you guys, you have to crawl through, but for them, they can they can kind of crouch and go through. So they crouch through, they go through on the other side. Uh, how did, okay, here we go. Oh god. Yeah, just move your just move oh, your kicks. Jeez. Oh yeah, great plan, guardsman. <laughs> well, they're all paralyzed. I know. Just saying. Right, your characters don't know that, but Yelma's character knows that they're paralyzed. So if we hurry, we can get through them before they they realize what's occur or uh, recover. Press on, brothers. The entity recovers. Yeah. I'm just doing fall dash. Just just don't want to be as if I just don't want to be here. <laughs> our inquisitor is our inquisitor dead or is he alive? No, he should still be alive. Boko just hasn't, right. you know, moved him. Where is oh, I thought I did. Sorry. Nope. The Inquisitor it, was with Captain Malakius the whole time. Is that it? Or is he yeah. gone? Is he no, just he's screwed with us. All right. He just got forgot it. to move him. I got it. I got it. Right, you guys. You start seeing as you guys are running through the hallways. You start these. You start to see them kind of like slowly starting to move again. Mm -hmm. Ever so slightly. Don't forget the fuel refineries. Which I think is which through is this right door. Here. The guardsmen tell you, go on. They tell you, go go ahead, get out of here. That's what they tell, tell you. And I'm here like, okay. Then guardsmen, you, just, you will be forever run. remembered <laughs> as the Emperor's finest. All right. I don't know if we're doing I full have runs, no so clue I'm... what just happened to my uh, little figure. What happened to it? Oh, I'm way over here for some reason. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. I'm back. I teleported to the other side of the ship for some reason. Yeah, the guardsmen radio to you guys. You guys have, uh... You guys have five minutes to get off the ship. Oh, yeah, wouldn't you take that I much stand time here to, to make sure everyone passes me. How many, how many of us are here? One, two, three. Out of four. Four? I teleported on the other side of the ship, and I don't know where everyone went. <laughs> uh, to, the, to, to where the ship was uh, stationed at last. Top left corner. Top left corner. Right, and as you guys are coming down, um, you guys see your Thunderbolt come back and dock. It's like, uh, we got word from Captain Malachi, so they can come get you guys. I inform them that Captain Malachius is dead, and he sacrificed himself to save us. No, we, let's let's just withhold no. until we get get in. Ship's there. about to explode. Load on. Let's get out of here quick. <laughs> right. <laughs> Are the guardsmen coming or not? No, no they're no, they're, they're gonna blow up. The they should sacrifice themselves. Got it. Like true guardsmen do. Get right. uh, get 
uh, bitch tits on on board, Ma. I don't have control of either of those. Sir. Oh, okay. Coco. Yeah, AI. Yeah, so we're just gonna leave the Inquisitor. It's fine. It's not why we boarded it at all. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> uh, so as you guys are leaving the vessel, you guys just see the the war barge just gigantic explosions all over the place. And just a huge uh, fireball expanding down the hallway that we just came from. Well, I mean... So I hope we are long gone before that You guys happens. are you're <laughs> long gone because you'd be destroyed in the nuclear fire if you're getting closer. But anyways, uh, you see it, guys see in the distance that war barge just disintegrate. Well, what was left of it disintegrate? Um, Yelmug, your character uh, no longer senses that entity in the area at all. I nod and uh, triumph. <laughs> we have succeeded, brothers. That I entity is you. no more. And we have lived to fight another day. At least the area. The shadow of the entity is the shadow no of the, the entity, entity is lives no on more. in another ship. Yes, but the, its current manifestation in this local area of space is no more. The Emperor protects. All right. Uh... Well, that was fucking badass. <laughs> right? No, it wasn't. Look to... back at the explosion. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> right. Cool guys don't look at explosions. I forgot. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh... The pragmatic ones make sure the explosion did its damn job. So, yeah, yeah 900, that's true. 900 XP. Ayo. I figured that'd be a good taste of what you guys are going to be encountering when you guys go to fight this thing, so. Uh, let's see, 900 plus 53 is 60. And that's just a shadow, meaning it's, like, not very powerful compared to the main part, main entity. Right. And, Yelma, you can, your character can still withhold the information you know, so, if you want to. I mean, there's not really a lot of information to share there. No, I understand. Like, if, if it felt more important than just, yeah, we gotta kill the thing, mm -hmm. then, you know, then I'd share it, but it's, yeah, we gotta kill the thing. Well, I mean, that's all you're growing, the ga game's gonna be, is you're gonna, gonna kill things. So, but no, uh, so your character would know that thing is the, uh, we kind of like those antenna that we were talking about on the little ships. It's the yeah, kind of it the big thing. Yeah. The heart, the heart of it, the localized heart. Yeah, I mean, we knew it was just an extension of uh, the entity, because the mm -hmm. entity's on a different ship. But we all already know that much. Yep. All right. Sweet. That is a good stopping point for the next session. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Sure. Yeah. You what, Boko? That's a good stopping point for the next session. Oh yeah, because yeah, now yeah. you guys, uh, you guys can still we can still play. Uh, I think thirty more minutes, so you can just do like RPing because the next session is going to be you guys are going to be tracking down and finding the entity to kill it. Sure, we can do some RP. Yeah, uh, we'll be able to spin XP between the session and next session. I will say yeah, just okay. so you can deal with what's kind of, what's ahead. So you have nine or more XP from this mission. Brothers, let us not forget the sacrifice of Captain Malachius and the brave cannon fodder, as well as his, the <laughs> minds too small for doubt on the guardsmen. <laughs> they will forever live on for the glory of the Emperor. No, no, brother, they're dead. Oh, they cannot okay. They live on any further. They are no more. Ah, I see. Well, um, that's quite unfortunate for them. Uh, can I, uh, inspect what I got from Captain Malakias, what I managed to recover? Oh, yeah. Did you recover war gear off him? Uh, what I could. And mm -hmm. I just, uh, I took what I saw. Okay, uh, he had a... A bolt rifle like you guys. Very similar. Uh, some gold affixings to it. Uh, has a name and chapter engraved on it. 
May I read it? Hmm. Uh, but what does it read? His chapter name? Yeah. Yeah, Ultramarine. Mm hmm. And that's it. Yeah, and his guy name. tired of wearing blue. Malakius. Yep. So you see, uh, uh, you just see Malak. That's his full name, Malakius. I've shed a quiet oh, tear, but no one can see it because my helmet is on. <laughs> and also, you see, it. you see, yeah, you see also markings of all his victories. You see countless victories. I give a Tortek Marine and yep, hundreds to uh, report it to the. Well, I guess I should give it to the Moth's character because she uh, is the one. She has the gene the seed. Ship. No, 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 the... Technically, the, the Inquisitor is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's Inquisitor. My authority. Yeah, then I will go up to Inquisitor and hand him... Well, no, I should not, because I, I need to find out who holds the armory on the ship. So, the technical... Uh, the tech marine or uh, a crew member of the ship who is responsible for that. So, what... What is your intent with this gun? You just want to return it to the quartermaster so it can be used I again? Would... Yes, I would like to return it. Okay. So, uh, come hither, brother. Hand me that, uh, hand me Captain Malachius' rifle. I'll make sure it gets to the proper, uh, stocks. I hand him the rifle, and I, uh, go into a more or less, uh, solicited corner. And I make a marking on my with, with a knife on my jetpack. Hmm. Make a marking on what with your jetpack? On my on my ju jump pack. Oh, yes, your jump, jump pack, pack with your knife. Yes, okay. with my combat knife. All right, and we don't see that because you're around a corner, right? Well, uh, I just like I just uh, I'm not trying to actively hide from you. I'm just like away. Just uh, got it. it to my stuff. Basically. Got it. And yeah, Moth, uh, the Inquisitor is motioning to you to come to his quarters. Alrighty. Uh, meanwhile, I'm, I'm going. Look. I'm going to uh, return the rifle any, to. Yeah, the any ship. Master. Under his command, he has quarters. Just have why. And go ahead, test rack. Oh yeah, I was just gonna say that uh, I'm returning the rifle to the uh, uh, our quartermaster so that he can uh, do what with it as he will, and I'm going to I'm going to tell him on the way that uh, it was Inquisitor Orthodermis's wishes for the rifle to be memorialized. All right, I should be reading that. Sorry. Brisora, come to my quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please have a seat. And Yelmuk, what are you doing this whole time? Uh, I'm probably just gonna go around the ship, uh, trying to see if I sense any of the taint, just to make sure it didn't follow us on board. So you can start with the shuttle, uh, the Thunderbolt. Okay. Yeah. And then cut off what are you do after you're done etching in your thing. Uh, check my gear, and okay. afterwards, uh, I try to maintain it. Okay. And try dude, what are you? Gonna... Yep. Yeah. Just Please. uh, yeah, maintain my weapon, clean clean it up, and just head head to the quarters and pass out. Okay, after a long, exhausting day, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did have a, quite the adventure. You guys went from fighting orcs on the ground to then going on a spaceship and seeing Captain Malachi. So you lost two commanders in one day. Oh, it's got to hurt. And the entire Death Watch Battle Barge. Yep, it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's complete. It's toast. Yeah, it's fine. We didn't need it anyway. <laughs> it was tainted, anyways. I'm sure whatever challenges lie ahead uh, will hopefully have ample support, even without the war barge. The Emperor protects. 
So are you sure my transmission did not make it to your disk? Pretty sure I didn't get any other messages from you after that time we talked. That's most unfortunate. We are at it is disadvantage. It would take far too long now to obtain the relic I need to deal with this entity. Oh, what's the relic you need? It's not your concern now. I'm disappointed in myself not being able to foresee this. Looks like we're going to have to track down this warp entity before it spreads like a plague upon our worlds. One second. I was able to disable most of its capabilities to fully use its warp range. I need you to come up with a plan with the available resources to us. I must take my, I must make my leave to bring additional aid from nearby systems. I had my ship prepped for departure. It should be here by tomorrow. What say you, Moth? Hey there. Sure. Okay. Yes. I. Mm. I'm not sure what to say to this. I'll come up with a plan. I guess. I would like to hear hear your plan first. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's going. I'm not sure I have all the information I need.
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Do we gain any renown from... Oh, that's session? right. Sounds like you're forming a plan already. I think you have this under control then. You may make your preparations. All right, Boca, how much uh, renown do we get for the session? Uh, we got 900 XP. Two. two? All right. Yeah, two for this. So we should be up to 10 now, everybody, if I recall correctly. What, what renown? I thought, I thought we no, were at 10. This will bring it to 17 renown. 17. We have 17, 17 renown. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. oh, all right. Yeah, so if we just gain two, we should now have 17 total renown. All right, I recorded yeah. it incorrectly in my sheet. That's why. All right. Well, remember, the sheet, if you actually record it next to renown, disappears. Yeah, that's what happened, and I recalled eight, so it's on me. I, I put it somewhere else this time. Good. Brusora, this is why I admire you. Stoic and understanding my directives. Not many people. Oh, get my directives, sorry. My directives. Yeah, I'm very pleased with your latest mission to save me from a dire streets. Uh, by the way, you used the wrong form of the word streets. Uh, it should be this. That. That's in, right. you know, like a. They understand, understand what I made. I'm just being a grammar Nazi. Now we need a grammar colony to make a full war. Right. Is that your new character's name? Uh, dire Straits, Dire Crookeds. Right. You're dismissed. I must speak with the captain of the Death Watch. He'd be dead. Oh! <laughs> He's talking to the the dude on the run. He'd be the, the dude on the run's now captain. Yeah, he's now captain. Build promotion. Look at me. I'm the captain from now. From squad leader to uh, chapter captain. Oh, <laughs> I mean, oh available available resources. You guys are it. You guys are it. So I Field would promotion. I would like to um walk up to uh uh what's it called uh. Uh, Dominego. Uh, Brother Dominego, are you sure you're up to the task of leading our squad? Uh, I can I can provide assistance as well, so if you need me to step in, I can do so. Thank you. Well, the most assistance I would need from you is technical support. Understood. Is tech support. <laughs> Understood, brother. I will be your right-hand man for technology-related issues. There's so much, so much shade just being thrown around, and the tech marine just blew it right over his head. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, I step out of whatever, wherever I was, to try and basically make security checks on this, on the ship. Uh, on the ship, yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Yelma, go do your rolls too as you're checking the ship. Well, uh, did you already do that? Uh, no. Do I get any modifiers or anything? Plus twenty. By the way, Yelma, for all you know, uh, might not have gone over my head. I could have even just been That's being true. facetious. That's right. True. So your your character senses is no taint on this vessel of any kind. Over the entire ship. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, that's just for the, that's for the shuttle. If you want to do the whole ship, give me three rolls. And cool. go ahead, Cardinal. So three more. Uh, do I make awareness rolls to check, or what do I make to check the check the, your guys, the whole ship out? 
Is your guy a psyker? No, I'm just uh, I'm just like evaluating, just uh, uh, around, just checking. It would be uh, yeah, awareness. So go ahead, do give me three awareness checks. So Yelmung, as you go through the ship, you see that your your team of psychers, right? The other psyker dudes on your team, uh, have definitely kept the ship very clean, very very clean, and they can't report back to you. Uh, and they say, uh, "Brother, we have made we have ensured that that entity cannot take this vessel." And they, so they good. You have okay. Yeah. So you said psychic person. Is this another uh, Death Watch member, or is this? Yes, like, like you. Uh, uh, okay, so he's not just some other psychic uh, inquisitor retinue. No, 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 no. He's he's with Moss. Death Watch kill team. So there's there's six of you. Okay. So cool. Two librarians and one kill team. <laughs> Love it. Well, your whole uh, team, your whole your whole kill team is librarians. Oh Jesus. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> that's that's why the, that's why the Inquisitor summoned forth Moss character because he has the best, and he wanted to bring. I hold the a best. tight leash on all the uh, witchy puppets. Right. Say, to make sure they don't go crazy. <laughs> oh my uh, god. <laughs> the sister of battle leading um psychers is like the most heretical thing I've ever heard. Not, not <laughs> leading. Not leading. I'm your prisoner. I'm your uh, no, prisoner. I'm your um Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Jailer. You're my prisoner. Jailer. <laughs> you are. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought the Inquisitor. Remember, they can kind of, they can kind of go shady area. So th this is the There's best a reason kill. I'm not a sister of battle with the ecclesiarchy, and I'm an Inquisitor's assistant. Mm -hmm. Right. So they, yeah, uh, agent, throne agent. Yes. Right. So, yeah, Yelmug, your team is the best of what they do. So, <laughs> dealing with shit like this. So I'm going around uh, checking people out, seeing what's what, and uh, what do I see? Uh, I roll three awareness rolls, and two of them are a success. Okay. Um, you think you see a with a failed one? You think you see one of those monstrosities in the back of the shuttlecraft, the the thunderhawk, thunderbolt, thunderhawk? Yeah. Yep, thunderhawk. <laughs> Uh, other than that, you don't see anything else. It's all clear. So you're gonna investigate that thing you think you see as a monster? Naturally. Okay. You go over there, and what are you gonna do? Um, I'm just evaluating, just seeing if it's there, seeing no, no. if you uh, need to attack the gazebo. Right, right, right. Your character perceives it as a monster, so that oh, is what you. Oh. Think. Yeah, like I, I, like I actually just like uh, immediately saw it as a monster. It's not just That's a correct. suspicion. No, um, no, no. Then, then yeah, I just charge in. Like uh, no questions asked. I, I am just, yeah. Okay. Now, as you're smashing and destroying stuff, it's just uh, ammunition, uh, Imperial Guardsman armor, all sorts of things, and a and a conglomerate that looks like the monsters you fought, and you're just thrashing about making a mess. So after making a couple of swings, I see that it's not moving in any capacity, and it's just that's here. Correct. So I and, stop. Yep, because that's essentially what you were fighting on the ship. You saw gear and tentacles and wire and bullet. Yeah, so yeah, it kind of looked like that. So I uh, I mm -hmm. glance over at PTSD now. I glance yeah. <laughs> I glance over at Karnoff and uh, notice what he's doing, and I. Uh, raised an eyebrow, but he, but no one can see that I raised an eyebrow <laughs> because I'm wearing my Take helmet. helmet <laughs> right. So, uh, Fantastic and then, and then after that happens, I just pretend like, oh, I meant to do that. It's so cool. It's, I, it's, I, I cross it's my, I cross my arms and slowly and disapprovingly shake my head back and forth, and then I, um, I go back to what I was doing, which is fuck all. <laughs> and so. <laughs> seeing as the ship is safe I will uh, do nothing I will just stay, stick around just still observe people right 
And uh, Yelmug, your character was also summoned to the Inquisitor's quarters. Along with dudes. Gradually wake up and start grudgingly towards the office. <laughs> Until well, I'm yeah. at the office, then I, then, I, then I get my stance in order. Yeah, because I'm assuming Moss character, you went over there and got dude to come to his office. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I figured yeah. he'd call them up on comms or something, but if that's the thing, then I'll go grab him. No, he's telling you, like the coffee man, to go get him. Oh, jeez. That's correct. Hey, you said you were his assistant. <laughs> that's correct. And Yelmug, you actually get a comm call. Cool. Uh, I, I show up, clearly. <laughs> but I do it quietly. Greetings. What is your name, librarian? I assume you're the skill team's leader. My name is uh, Eric Lades. And if you're referring to the kill team under your command, then surely you would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I don't take stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had enough of that with the guardsmen. But if you're referring to the other kill team, then no. You're very clever and a smart uh, spartan, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I speak of a ship's kill team. You're very clever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Clever. Am I this kill team's squad leader? Yes. Are you? Then yes. Inquisitor. Oh, oh the ships. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, not uh, the, the rescuees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What is this cleaver you speak I'm of? I'm assuming they're not talking about the death, the death yeah. marine. My brain not interpreting that word correct. Clever, clever, clever. Uh, yeah, that's, right. that's yeah, so correct. Good. It's just... Okay. Cleaver, but without the A. That's clever. Got it. My brain doesn't perceive the two different... Anyways, but whatever. Uh, now, nah, we're just poking fun at you. Don't worry. No, I know. <laughs> it's all uh, good fun. Okay. I find it to be important to be very clear in certain matters. Inquisitor. I have your records here, and you do not disappoint me. I stay silent. Right. Your music records? Holy shit. No, 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 no. He, kn he, knows, he knows exactly... I know how to whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> right. So he knows exactly who this is and all that stuff. He was just, you know, making small talk, essentially. So he's fully aware of who he is. I whip my bolter back and forth. I whip my bolter back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> I have a task for your kill team with this new threat against the Imperium. Let us wait for the other KO team field promoted leader to arrive. We can discuss our new arrangement together. So, dude, yeah, I'm assuming you made your way here. Yeah, I'm and here. Yeah, I'm listening to this conversation. 
Okay, you just arrived. Okay, you entered the door. And Yelma, what do you say throughout this uh, exchange? I remain silent. Okay. How do you spell your name, Domingos? D E M E N G O S. It's Dominego. I'll I'll spell it in chat. There you got it. I see it. Dominego. Oh yeah, um, while we're here, I am going to uh, have my name legally changed to Neil Tyson. <laughs> no, the grass Tyson? Very good. Excellent. Yes, Try because e ever, since, ever since hearing you guys refer to me as Neil Tyson, I thought, you know what, that's a good idea, and... Uh, <laughs> Now that I'm, now that I'm, now that I'm on the ship and uh, I'm able to access the records and everything, I'm talking to the record keepers <laughs> and uh, having them legally change my name for the emperor. Uh, beautiful, Ericlides, you and the Menego. I need you to coordinate your efforts to deal with this warp entity, since the captain has met a foreseen end. Unforeseen. And an unforeseen end. Uh, and I stay silent. Oh yeah, well I stay more silent. Right. <laughs> it's a psychic silence. Are you a blank? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not not that part. That part <laughs> screaming in terror. Ahamana, uh, hamana, hamana, hamana. <laughs> oh no, the car's mad. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's hilarious. So, uh, uh, Yelmuk, he, he comes over and hands you the relic. Says, you're going to need this. And what's my the relic to the is... librarian? Say again? You're handing the relic to the librarian? That's correct. And what, may I ask, is this? And he says, well, you should, you should know. Uh, so your character... <laughs> oh, As yeah. I stated before, Inquisitor, I like confirmation <laughs> in all things. If we can uh, make sure there is no confusion whatsoever, that would be wonderful. <laughs> he kind of chuckles. He's like, You'll know, you know what it is. And he just sits back at his desk. So your character, as he's focusing in on it, knows it is a very ancient psychic relic. Like, from... Uh... Not the Necron ones, are they old ones? Basically? Oh Those my god, is that old? Oh my god. Yeah, he got this, this isn't just a relic, this is a god tier item. 
this is a god tier item. <laughs> so he's sure. So he says, uh, "I right." That's why he brought this ki- this this kill team specifically. So he said, "Unfortunately, he tells you, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the other piece." So he says, "This should keep you from uh, your armor from corrupting and killing your whole kill team." More or less a shield. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to go in. He tells you we're gonna. You guys are gonna have to go in and kill the heart of this damn thing. He was. He was telling you. He was hoping he would be. He was gonna. He was hoping it'd be a lot easier with the other part. But unfortunately, that doesn't look like it's the case. And you guys are gonna have to deal with it, mano a mano, with this thing. Cool. So it's an old one relic. Mm-hmm. Uh, that protects, I assume, in a radius. Yep, kind of like what Captain okay. Lackey's is doing for you, except it's uh, right, a little more, a little more potent, a little more potent. And he, and he, and uh, you could tell just by his look to you, it's like, do not lose this. Like your life depends on not losing this item. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it. I'm like, hmm. I understand the significance of this, and I place it in, uh, yeah, I don't know, some random pocket on me. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it like a, yeah, it looks like a, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like kind of like a size of a, size of a, it's a 30 millimeter round type of medallion. You see nothing, if, uh, if you were to see it on the street, you wouldn't think anything of it other than that. It's like very shiny. Uh, but your psychic power can detect, yeah, this, this thing is, uh, Buku strong, whatever it does. <clears throat> so, right, you don't know exactly what it is, but you know it's right, really right. ancient. So, yeah, old one level stuff. Then, what is the plan? Then, uh, cracking down this entity. Well. Uh, uh, and you, uh, did your character have like lore on the ancient type of things or any of that stuff to, ref- to know what he's referring to? It means the other object. If you're uh, no, I haven't taken any any skills and in, in lore stuff. All right, so yeah, so you don't really know what the heck he's talking about. You just know that there's some other psychic I, bullshit thing out there. I, that I he- get it. Some super powerful, you know, artifact that would have been super great help to kill a thing, but we don't have it, so. <laughs> How are you going to track down this entity to destroy it? It tells you I'm leaving that up to the your throne agent. Uh, I depart tomorrow. And then uh, he tells, he looks over at dude's character, Domingus. Uh, how much of your kill, kill team survived? Say again? He's asking how much of your kill team survived the encounters. I think we only lost one, right? Yep. Oh, we uh, lost like seven in the initial mission. That, as well. Seven oh, initial, because oh, he doesn't. Oh, he yeah, that's right. Yeah, he hasn't really been keeping track, nor does he really care. But he wants to know your total strength now, since we're kind of forced in a fight. Right. Our first mission, we lost like seven guys. <clears throat> There's only, uh, and then the next mission, we lost our commander, and I. Uh, Took took lead, and that's and now we have what three four left. Gotcha. Any kind of review? I guess you're feel promoted then to the highest ranking guard <laughs> we have, or uh, highest ranking space we have. So you're you're in charge of the kill teams until until uh, additional forces arrive. Are you guys Since reading chat? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a perfect response. Yeah. So uh, he's telling. Uh, we. He's telling uh, Yelmuk's character, uh, Eric Lady's, is like, you'll be under his command, uh, and you'll command your team as you see fit. But you'll follow his orders until this mission's over with, until we get out of this, out of this alive, and you're no longer needed. All right, so he's telling me that I'm under uh, Dominico's command, yeah? That's correct. Okay, cool. 
And then, thank uh, you, Dom, yep, Dom, yeah. Yeah, thank you, sir, like, for the for the emperor. Right, he says. You perform marvelously, yeah, but unfortunately, he's not too pleased with the current situation. Not blaming you, just not very pleased. So you can see the frustration. Kind of, he's never been. He's been always been a very stoic person. That's every time you see him, you can see the kind of the frustration and anger in his face. Uh, so he says, "I need you. I need you to get with their uh, my throne agent there and to devise a plan to track down and destroy this thing." So it shall be done. My th- yeah, and tells you, throne agent will provide you the available resources that you need, and you will provide the the emperor's hammer and deal that that death blow to this entity. Yes, sir. And he waves you off as you're dismissed. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> then I uh, walk away. Walk away back to my bunker. Uh, let the librarian know today's been a long day. I need some rest before I can uh, continue working. This is not the kind of RP that I expected to be doing today. What the fuck? <laughs> right. <laughs> Just fucking read chat. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't think you can turn dead guardsmen into servitors. So you just actually just killed him. Well, I snapped yeah. his neck, but he didn't die. Oh, that's true. He just paralyzed. He's just All paralyzed right. from the <laughs> neck down. He, yeah, he's not dead yet. He's going to turn into a servitor <laughs> for being a dirty heretic. Very well then. I shall see to you tomorrow. Rest well. We have a great fight ahead of us. Right. <laughs> oh, it's gonna suck that we share the same character. Hey, he's mentioning that to you, Yelmug, since you're the kill team leader. Okay. Cool. Sir, I'd like to report an unidentified vessel off the port side. A hundred kilometers out. Very short distance considering this is space. Mm-hmm. Right. That's why he's reporting to you immediately, like, cuz... <laughs> uh, curious why you would report directly to me and not someone higher, but I appreciate your warning. I would like to come to everybody. Uh, at least, at least have an the... unidentified vessel in closing distance. Well, he's Prepare telling you... Yourselves. <laughs> well, he's... You know him, so your character would know him. So he, the reason he's telling you is because you're a psyker, and you can immediately tell the higher ups what's going on, because they're the ship's making uh, emergency combat maneuvers. So you're relaying that information to Moss character. Yeah. We have another. Uh, <clears throat> oh God. Uh, Sister Restora, we have an unidentified vessel approaching. Understood. I guess I head up to the bridge, see what's going on. All right. You guys just right. hear you guys hear the the warnings going off. The whole I mean the whole kill team would be aware of this warning because the whole ship just came out alight with warnings. Right? Yeah, I'm just uh, I just ignore the warning signs and just still go to my bed. Sure. <laughs> I have to give taking, five minute rest on it. Yeah, you're taking your armor off and all that stuff. That's fine. Uh so as you come in, uh Moth, the uh, the captain looks at you and informs you uh, we have an orc vessel off the port port side. I don't know how they got past our sensors. So, orcs. Are they purple? Orcs. Orcs. Just, but yeah, just they fish. they even they even point out to it. It looks like a giant chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Is it painted purple? Purple? No. It's just no, a giant okay. chicken. It's a giant chicken, chicken with fangs. Okay. 
That's what it looks like to you guys. At least that's what it looks like to you. You're not sure, chicken, but you chicken know... Chicken with fangs? That's a basilisk. Chicken with fangs? <laughs> a basilisk? True. A, that's, that's a basilisk. Really? I thought, it was a, thought basilisk was a snake with fangs. No, basilisks are chickens. Giant chickens. Interesting. Like house-sized chickens. Well, they're reptiles. No. Well, it, no. Yeah. Basilisks originally were giant chickens. Sure. So, D and D basilisk, whatever. It's a giant chicken with fangs, and you see it's pretty nimble. Whatever the hell it is. So you mean a cockatrice? That's what you're describing. Oh, right cockatrice. Now. <laughs> well, cockatrice and basilisk were synonymous with each other for a while, and they split. Well, you yeah. know the difference between a it's cockatrice a and a basilisk, anyway, right? Yeah. So, yeah, your ship, yeah, Moth, you see the ship just lighting up the entire sky with missiles and cannons. You're, uh, I think you have a Tempest class frigate, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. So only Moth and, or Yoma are aware of that at the moment. You're a different kill team altogether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So as far as you guys are aware, you hear blazing and ship ruckus. You see guardsmen going and getting, I guess, the battle positions. Your characters would be aware of what that looks like. So they're getting battle positions. Mm -hmm. uh, I walk to yeah. our uh, leader, uh, Domenego. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> he's asleep. Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> Unavailable. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's done for the day. Uh... There's Neil Tyson going full Terminator on our poor guardsman. Well, you can you can just still open up the, the, my my room. Here here's a better question: How is that idiot guardsman still alive? Wasn't he on the other ship when it blew up? It was. A it's different a different idiot, idiot guardsman. There's all right, sorts of idiot, idiot guardsman. guardsman. Right, there's always we idiot just, guardsman. We should just start narboring so we know which one's which. Well, anyways, right. Anyways, no, that's too much <laughs> effort. <laughs> No. Oh, you could change the name. You could change the name of the same guy. That's so, how you uh, do it. Yeah, Moth. So, uh, the captain tells you uh, we're getting five more signatures. Just oh, coming out of... Yeah, you, just, you see that as you're looking out of that chicken that's coming at you guys, you see just do, 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 five more come in. Are they eggs? No, they're also chickens. Oh, okay. and, and and one one looks like a pirate boat, You're like Jesus Christ, fucking orcs. Who tried to wake me up? Right. So the captain looks at you and says, "Orders, thorn agent." Can the ship handle that many? Are you asking the captain? Yeah. He he looks at you, looks at the ships. He says, "I don't know what those are. I don't think so." Uh, if I were to kind of just at a glance classify them with the signatures we got, uh, they're much bigger than we are. <laughs> then get us out of here. Aye, aye. So, at this Con point... Helm, steady course. Right, yeah. And let's do some rolls. We're going to do some rolls to see what happens. dun 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 Con, hell, making turns for getting us the fuck out of here. Maneuvering eye. Aye. Head full. Oh, and one more. Yeah, one. Yeah, head full. So, as you guys are fleeing, you guys are getting away pretty well. Towards the end, your ship starts taking just massive batterings, right? Uh, every single one of you guys feels jolting of something like rocking this vessel, this massive vessel. It's like something big's hitting you. I get into a stance, I hold up my sword, and I prepare just, just, just in case. Just in case. Or the honor I, of Grayskull. <laughs> I, I, tells you. I awaken and start getting putting my armor back on. Yeah, go through the whole ritual to put it on. You'll be gone for about five minutes. Do mm -hmm. that. But yeah, anyways, it takes a while. Yeah, there's a video of how long it takes. About five minutes. Roughly. They gotta do rituals and all that stuff. Anyways, uh, 
So, Moth, as you're on the bridge, you just see the, the deck of your ship getting pounded by m missiles and looks like arrows or something. You're not sure what the hell it is. It looks like a bunch of crap orcs launch at you guys. Um, you sh the captain is like, uh, he's commanding his crew, hold fast. We're going to get out of here. And he tells the, what do they call those guys? The psychers that navigate, navigate just Navigators. After 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 well, well, they're after navigators. 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 Oh, yeah. So, they the he does, be the ones sending long distance signals, but the oh, navigators yeah, right. are the ones that actually pilot the ship. Yeah, well, yeah right. The warp anyway. Right. So he orders them to navigate and get the hell out. Basically, warp away like Star Trek. Warp. So they're warping out to the next system available. Um. And they, Moth, you hear the Inquisitor, uh, kind of like uh, calms down to you. Uh. What what appears to be going on? So he asked, "Why are we Why are we warping away?" We're under attack by five orc vessels, sir. Five orc vessels. It's actually six, but yeah. Mike is okay. Um, understood. And then uh, I have some more prepar preparations to make. Then uh, where are we heading, Captain? The where are we sun, heading, sir? <laughs> Uh, the captain looks at you like um, heading to the Ryleth system. All right, head into the Doesn't... Ryleth, sir. Hey guys, uh, confirmed. And he goes, and I I'll make preparations as such. Um, he clicks off. Yep, you guys are. It's only a day's travel away to the Ryleth system. It's the very close system. You guys arrive. And let's see if any bad shit happens while you're in the warp. You guys are good. So yell, Mike, what are you doing this the whole time? Has this is going on? Uh, I may or may not have discovered the corpse of dead guardsmen in the hallway and go, hmm. <laughs> it's such a shame that uh, we have a member of our crew died in that orc attack just now. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, guess I should move him to uh, be shoved out in an airlock or something. Uh, or I, or wherever. I, I stay very quiet while uh, while looking around <laughs> and making sure that uh, nobody saw what I did. Right, the ship's very, as you're going through the ship, uh, you know, Mike, the ship definitely has <clears throat> taken excessive beatings from those vessels. A couple corridors are cut off and a couple fires that your guard's been putting out. How the crew is putting out. I uh, I try and find the tech marine. Okay, you find me. I'm not actively hiding from anyone. Cool. Um, uh, there you are. It seems our ship has taken some damage. If you could, it would be great if you could help out our techs in repairing. They're not quite as skilled as a marine is, but... I'll yes, see what I can. I'll see what I can do for our ship, brother. Uh, I'd like to roll a tech use to assess damage. What's the modifier on that? Plus twenty. And give me, give me three rolls. And dude, I mean, you're... I don't want to tell you your job there, Cobbler, but your ship's in pieces, floating in space as a derelict now. <laughs> Wait, what ship? <laughs> or barge. Or battle barge. It's dead. Oh, it, are we talking about the battle barge or the ship no, that no, we're no, on? No, I'll make it a joke. Oh. <laughs> he, you're talking about his uh, Tempest class frigate here. So, you're able to assess that some of this damage can be repaired locally with the teams. Uh, some other damage that took to the engine room is going to have to be repaired at a, a ship facility. Some of this damage can be repaired locally with the teams, but the reactor room is going to be uh, needed to head to dry dock to repair. We'll need to head to dry dock for them to be able to repair it properly. And it'd be a six month wait. We would have to wait six months. I don't believe we have that kind of time, brothers. What is the extent of damage to the reactors? Hmm. So, uh, Boko, was I able to glean anything about the reactors? Oh, was that was it that that almost perfect score you got that nine nine point three? So uh, you're able to as you you could spend a day. Yeah, with I rolled the team a fourteen and, on that. Right, you could spend a day with the team with that fourteen to investigate the extent of the damage to the reactors. Uh, 
we could investigate this further to see how extensive the damage to the reactor is. Uh, perhaps we could stabilize it to ensure that we don't all get destroyed and perish in hilarious fashion. <laughs> hilarious fashion. <laughs> I'm right. sure words, I mean, it would be hilarious. I understand what you mean. I'll advise the captain and the higher-ups. <laughs> Understood, brother. The Emperor right. protects. <clears throat> and the captains acknowledge what you said, Yelmug. They know how to acknowledge you since you... I'm sure you talk to your whole team telepathically, too. I don't have that skill, so no. Really? But I have a comm system that I can talk on. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, not every Have you tried the front door? Yeah, interesting. Have you, it? have you tried the like front how, door? I like how <laughs> aesthetically all the commanders are like, okay, so we're going to tell the psyker and he's going to do his mental stuff, and he just like pulls out a radio and radios people. <laughs> That's yeah. what I do every time. I sigh inwards every time they do it, too, because they never get the fucking hint. Nope. That's hilarious. I love it. God. <laughs> I mean, they're all just a shit full of idiots that go, Oh, I hear it in my ear. It must be psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your last commander died that way. Yeah, yeah He took true. his moment off and didn't have anything in his ear anymore, and he still heard it, so... That's because it's manif... Your, your current character would know that it manifested through the warp and actually made that sound. Yes, so my current character theory. would. But my previous character took his helmet off, and he still heard something through an earpiece that didn't exist anymore. Yep. Right. So he thought was, he was tainted. And of course, he wasn't. and of course, the only way to be sure is by blowing your brains out. Yeah, it's better safe than uh, being taken over by a demon spirit and killing everyone around me. Better dead than red. I mean, what? Anyways. Uh, okay, so you inform the captain, and the captain tells you, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll commission the teams to go investigate with uh, the Tech Marine to evaluate our engines. They tell you about the Riley system. Uh, they're heading over to the starport nearby. Are it's we going to small the starport? starport? Yeah, the captain's okay. taking you to the starport. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what's happening. Okay. All right. Mom told him to go to the Riley system, so he's like, I, I, and the captain is doing the. The other portion, he's going to a starport nearby. Yes, because you guys took ex extensive damage. That the captain evaluated that maybe we should go to a starport to get restocked, resupplied, refitted, repaired. Yeah, I, I missed that part. Sorry, but I got it now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Moth, uh, the captain tells you that uh, there's a there's a a small starport nearby that we can refit and repair most of the damage. The reactor probably, uh, by the tech marines' admission, would probably take the patch it up. Right. Yeah. yeah, he says more than likely they should have teams that be able to patch it up. Okay, they're limping over there. All right then. And then, dude, what are you doing this whole time? Oh, uh, so that's a day's worth, right? <clears throat> About a worth day, of, yeah. About a day. I use half of it of sleeping, then wake up, then continue, then start helping out with uh, finding the void entity. So you're going to the bridge and whatnot? Yeah, I go to the bridge. Hey, the Yellbug, what are you doing? Do the same thing? Um, I'm going to instruct my Death Watch team because uh, apparently I have one, of nothing but librarians. Yep. To join Chorus and pierce the depths of the wharf in, see, uh, in search of this warp entity. At the very least, you know, like, you know, what near a star system or something like that. Right, so they they said, all right, we'll, we'll meet with the, the navigator and we'll do all that. So they go up to the... To that, because that's the only way they could probably have a remote chance of finding this thing and track it down. Yeah. So I've never seen yeah. I assist with it too. Right. So they make a chance circle around the navigator and you guys are peering into the warp. And uh
I don't okay. really want me to make it. Uh, no, no, oh, I'm I'm making roll. Uh, you can make a will will test if you want to. So I'm making I mean, a roll this for is, this. Could be like a it's not a science test considering we're searching for stuff. So I figured I'd make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your the rest of your team is doing that. Uh, one of your one of your uh plus twenty. One of your teammates they fall unconscious, bloody nose. The rest of the team seems to be doing fine. Fate roll, last one. <laughs> That's better. All right. So, yeah, one of your librarians falls unconscious, just plummets to the ground, bloody nose and everything. The rest of the team, they're holding with you strong to, to locate this thing. And the navigator tells you uh, he's found him. Excellent. Right. So, but he also he advises you to stop trying to peer into it because we could probably go insane. But he knows where it's at. Well, we've accomplished our goal, so yes, let's stop. <laughs> Someone get him a handkerchief. And maybe oh, the, one, <laughs> the one that's unconscious on the ground? Yeah, yeah blood pouring out his nose? Yeah. Is this was, this was this on the bridge? Yeah, it's all on the bridge. Yeah. They, they, they went up with the navigator himself because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find a ship so all six of the uh, librarian uh, kill team got with the librarian, boosted his signal to search for this thing. Uh, so the the navigator conveys to you, because he, he can't move from his post, he conveys to you they're about uh, a week out, uh, they're above a, a volcanic world of some sort, and it's not within the Imperium uh, territory. It seems to be within uh, orc territory of some kind, possibly Eldar, he's not sure some alien life form that surrounds the area and that's all he's able to discern from that, but he knows exactly where it is it's over a volcanic moon so excellent well, squad leader it seems we've identified the location of our targets is in a world, a volcanic world, but there's also a lot of Xenos taint surrounding it. What kind of Xenos, we cannot be certain, but he is not alone. Dominego, squad leader, Dominego. <laughs> Thank you. Are you awake? Okay, good. I'm I'm in the Sleepy bridge. Joe. <laughs> I'm in the bridge and heard all that. I I'll be all. But we're 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 going to we're going to a port trying to refit and resupply. <clears throat> do we know he's gonna stay in that do we know that the entity's gonna stay at that planet for a long time? We don't, time? but we know where he is now. And wherever he's currently at, he's clearly doing something nefarious. So regardless of what it is, we may want to check out what it is that he was doing to determine his goal. If we can suss that out, we may glean some kind of an edge against our prey. I mean, or well, we I can could... chase him blindly into the jaws of death. Your decision, squad leader what you think is right. Try to monitor him as much as you can. <clears throat> well, as you can see, uh, each attempt may cost us drastically. Let's, let's refit the ship. Let's repair the ship and refit, and then we'll make that action again. Very well, then. As the ship docks, you guys going to be getting in, enhancing, repairing armor, rearming weapons, all that stuff. Depends how long we stay. So the the portmaster tells you it's going to be you're going to be here about six days to repair the minor damage. The reactor, uh, they can patch it up, 
but uh, they highly suggest you get that thing fixed and repaired, or you may lose power on the field. Can't really grab another frigate with us, huh? Well, the the Inquisitor already is left on another, another frigate that warped into the area. So the Inquisitor is doing like he's told Moth. He had his ship prepared to come get him. It is now coming to get him. Right. Car Karnov throughout the week and the, the, the day traveling uh, would be uh, trying to train and just keep himself in tip-top shape. Okay, so plus 50 XP then. Anyone else training for the week? Hmm. I'm just going to be maintaining everyone's equipment the whole time. Okay. You're not going to help out with repairs? Well, yeah, I'm helping out. I guess I'll help out with repairs. I'll maintain... Yeah, I'll spend however much time we need to maintain everyone's equipment, and then I'll start repairing, help it repair the vessel. Right, the poor yeah. master tells, tells you that he can repair the damage. Uh, you're, you're... It would be helpful, but not necessary. Well, I'm going to pitch in and help anyway. Okay. You want uh, tech use rolls for that? Yeah. All right. How many? Three. three. All right. Yep. Three. Modifier zero. Plus twenty. Plus twenty. Okay. Uh, uh, when Neo Tyson, uh, well, he said he will be maintaining all of our gear. Is that correct? Yep. That's what he said. Yeah. So when you examine uh, Karnov's jump pack, you notice that there are. 14 markings uh like a knife carved out markings on the side of it and one of the markings is particularly long it's like longer than the rest bigger than the rest uh brother karnoff what are these markings in your jump pack the uh i woke up to new tire Tyson, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, some it. Neil Tyson now. Uh, <laughs> have you relayed um, that to our to us yet? Um, no. no. Uh, yes, my name is you here. my name is Neil Tyson now. I had it legally changed. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I woke up to Neil Tyson and uh, stare him down for a while. And then I respond, these are all the brothers I've lost. I understand. One way or the other. I understand. It is good that you are honoring them. Carry on. Uh, I, leave, I leave the markings uh, unmolested and then uh, hand, it, hand it back after uh, maintaining the jump pack. All right, so plus 50 for that. Uh, librarian, what are you doing? Yelmug? I got plus 50? All right, sick. While, yeah. while, uh, while uh, Neil Tyson looks looks at my equipment, it's already been maintained to the best of its best of my ability. Sweet. Yeah. And then, uh, Yelma, what's your character doing? The well, I'm... since his tech use rolls, he get one day, so five days it took rather than six. Okay, well, I'm just going to, you know, make sure that my squad uh, has recovered from its ordeal and is preparing itself for another one. Yep. To try uh, and, you know, prevent uh, another, another uh, accident from occurring. Right. I spend my days researching on what void, void entities are and trying to understand what they are, well, how, what their weakness. Because so, I don't think I have those lore, huh? Well, how no, much would, would you know? How much would you know? Because you have some lore. You would know, uh, like, which lore do we have? We've got Deptus and Stardust Death Watch. We know lore, for sure. Yeah. Is that the Forbidden group? Yes. It is. A forbidden Xenos lore. Uh, it's not necessarily, you know, Forbidden yeah. void entity lore. Yeah, basically, right. you would not know not much. About I would that. not know much, and I've been tasked since I knew I've been tasked to deal with void entities and 
I've clearly went through the hell of all their entities, destroying it the our ship and such for the past few days. I take my time to learn what these are. Who the heck is Hardrun Aurelius? Uh, he would have been one of uh, the other uh, librarian uh, Death Watch members. Ah, I ah okay. All right. Who, who wants to voice this guy? Captain, I must tell you what I saw before I lost consciousness, now that I've recovered. Yes, brother. What did you see? What did I see? What did you see with your space marine eyes? Wait, tell all, you know what he meant by seeing. I know. I know. <laughs> I was making a what do you what do your elf eyes see joke. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that one went over my head. Yeah, it's all right. Do 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 the Damn. memorial for our fallen comrade, Guardsman Jenkins, the Ministerium's assistant, will be held later today at 1800. His <laughs> last act was the sacred task of assisting the change of name for one of our hollowed Space Marine brethren. <laughs> <laughs> this entity spoke of its goals. We know of what that is to spread like a heretical plague. What I saw peering through the warp is a fleet of Xeno ships I believe to be tainted Eldar ships taken by this thing. And, uh, does, does Neil Tyron hear this? Because he has a hatred for Eldar. Well, I mean, it's in... Uh, I imagine it, probably not. Okay. Right. Yeah, this would be in his private recovery quarters, and then his captain would be coming to see him, see how he's doing recovering. So. Gotcha. And this is the first they're speaking. So. Okay. All right. And <clears throat> this is very good information. Am also, in please remember, I am not a captain. I'm the squad leader. There's a very important hierarchy of leadership roles that we have here, and I'm not a captain. Just, just a squad leader. Ah, uh, yes. I will. I will definitely consider that for the future, brother. Thank you. I don't want to be mistaken for a higher position than I'm not. That would be inappropriate. Anyway, I hope you prepare yourself for later in the next few days as we will attempt this again to ensure that the entity has remained there, but I will definitely relay that important information that you have given right. us. You will have to tell that to the throne agent then, and your rank. I mean, we're all just brothers. I mean, we don't, we don't really have ranks here. I just squad leader is about as high as it's going to get for our, our low level collectives that we are. Ah, of course. Mm -hmm. How could I be so stupid? I'm a librarian. I'm very intelligent. I should know all mm, of this. Nah, it's hey, not just hey. you. I've noticed many others constantly calling squad leaders captains. It's slightly concerning. <laughs> ah. Well, perhaps we should curtail this behavior before it becomes a habitual problem. We Captain. certainly should. Oh, I mean, oh, sorry, not Captain. I, right, so... I will chalk that one up to your current injury. Recover. <laughs> sure. So, I, uh, I look down but... I look down at my bloody rag that I've been using to staunch my nose this entire time. Oh, sorry, I should have been talking like this the whole time. Right. <laughs> no, you don't need to make yourself sound more pathetic. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, right. Better. Huh? I'm leaving now. Uh, okay, okay. I can't deal with All right, shit. I'm, I'm done now. I'm done. That's it. I promise. I'm done. What I'm chapter are you with again? Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. The, the uh, peering into the warp must have distorted my memory slightly. My short-term memory. Although I suppose no. my chapter would be a long-term long memory. Term All right, well. Anyways, <laughs> whatever. You are captain of this uh, little group here. Captain? Mm-hmm. Six he's librarians. The, no, he's an NCO. He's not sure. captain. He's an NCO. It, wouldn't I be the captain? Sure. You are another throne agent. So you're the captain of this... Oh, was, you are effectively a kill team, but you're the captain of this small little chapter. You were part of the... What was it? Shark? Shark? Whatever the hell they were? Kakaradons, right. I'm a librarian of Kakaradons, however, we are part of the Death Watch. And thus, we have a different ranking system. But sure, if I'm a captain of an entire... Uh, Six-man team. Six team, plus his ship, plus his auxiliary forces, yes. Okay. Very well, then I guess I am a captain. That would be a captain, right? I assume that's a captain. Yeah. Uh, so. If I'm over 100 people, then yes. Yes. Then I believe. Then yes, I'm a captain. Right. I, that's what I tell you that. No, 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 not a hundred. Uh, well, I mean, the, the, this the squad of librarians plus all the other ninety members of um, my particular regiment, I guess. Yeah. Because there's more vessels under the Stone Agent's command. The Inquisitor has a like. There's a reason he called you guys. Cool. So you would okay. be be equivalent to what Captain Malakis was, yes. Henceforth, why he gave you a very powerful relic. So. Okay, cool. I just figured I was just a lowly librarian. All right. Uh, cool. There's been there's uh, been more than one field promotion handed out today. Uh, it's not a field promotion. <laughs> uh, it's not a field promotion. <laughs> okay. I mean. That was the entire intent behind Moth and Yelmuk's character, because ah, okay. they're two men, essentially two men party coming in. So Moth commands this vessel, right, and all that underneath him. Uh, with that, he has a captain assigned to him, Yelmuk's character. Uh, captain Malakius was acting captain of your guys' kill team, and uh, you're directly reporting to the Inquisitor. So, if that makes sense. Right now, and now yeah. I'm the captain of my. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah what's left of your forces? So they're gonna bring in more additional forces. So, but essentially, he put you in charge since you're the the one that's gonna be. You'd have the most experience to deal with this currently, the all that's going on. Uh, the librarian is a, a great tool and asset, but you're kind of field promoted over him for the time being. Right. Even though we shared the same the same rank. That's correct. Cool. Anyway, well, he has a field promotion rank. Not, not. It's like a, you are temporarily taking taking this position for the time being until I get a replacement. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, it's it, permanent. <laughs> anyway, temporarily permanent. Anyway. I would like to uh, over at comms uh, set up a meeting between uh, Brasora and. Dominego, um, and you know, you know, whatever planning room or something that we have on the ship. Right, you Situation guys have a full room. planning room. This is a very <laughs> well elegant designed uh, Inquisitor vessel. So, it's the flagship for Moth's character. What, what was it again? What was the name of the vessel again, Moth? I can't, I can't, I can't access some uh, of these The HMS Stormcaller? Titanic. No, it was like Stormbringer or something oh, like that. Guardian of the Twilight... No, uh, Twilight Shield. That's what it's called. Twilight Shield. Twilight Shield. So, all in her men are at Yell Mugs and Moss Disposal. Plus the other kill teams to Yell Mug on the other vessels. And the Flotilla, but they only brought the flagship. So. Anyway, I, I call a meeting for, you know... My immediate superior and uh, Dominego. I guess both of my immediate superiors. Right. Equal <laughs> superior. Equal superior. Someone my, has to take charge. My equal superiors. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm a superior. You other two are just equals. How about that? Right. Yeah, but yeah. someone has to take. Someone has to take the lead on the field. following the Inquisitor's orders. Yes. 
Right. The moment I return back to my chapter, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yes. Anyway, I call you all to the uh, the planning room. You, you two specifically. Um. <clears throat> one of my librarians. Uh, who fell during the uh, initial location some ceremony has awoken with some concerning information. Uh, we indeed, since Xenos taints surrounding that planet, unfortunately, it seems this Xenos fleet is Eldar in nature and is entirely under the sway of the Void Entity. So it's growing every single minute. <clears throat> spreading like a plague that it is most likely but I figured should warn you that that planet there is surrounded by a fleet of Eldar ship so if we are to go in we should go in very stealthily and very strategically mm -hmm. and of course your command will perform another uh, location ceremony, ritual, whatever. <laughs> thing to find the thing uh, to determine if he's still there or not. But I surmise it most certainly will be. Seems like we need more resources. And the ship is damaged. It needs time to be fixed. Going into battle with another ship right now would be uh, ill-advised. We're going against a fleet at this point. We're going to yeah, let alone a fleet. Yes. fleet. We need we need a fleet of our own. Well, Moth, you know the the remainder of your flotilla is months away because uh, you were called, summoned by the Inquisitor yourself to bring just your ship and this specific team. Uh, so you don't have access to the rest of your fleet, which is about sixteen other vessels. So, uh, and the day prior, the Inquisitor got back to you that he's able to acqui uh, acquire some more ships to bring uh, to you under your command temporarily. How many more? It's about four Falchion ship uh, destroyers, or frigates. Yeah, four, four, four Falchions he's able to acquiesce. And he says th there might be some more on the way. He's uh he's working on it with a local governor to relinquish him of his fleet. Hmm. But the governor is very high ranking in dealing with uh some other issues, so it's that's why he's telling you he's basically in talks with somebody. Alright. How many ships did your librarian count? That I could not say. Yeah, undetermined. He just knows there's uh, more than two, less than ten. Oh, okay. That's actually fairly very specific. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's all I... Yeah, several for, ships, but no more than a dozen. We can only bring another four in at the moment. Uh... Do I know how large of a radius this uh, old one device uh, projects its protection? Go ahead and do your uh, was it sci science? Yeah. Any, yeah. any modifiers? Uh, let's give you minus 10. You have no idea. Anybody want to give me a fake point? You, you can use a fake point. My fake point. Yeah. yeah, you can use mine too. We're almost at that. We're at the end, anyways. <clears throat> oh well, yeah, you should. Use okay, well then I'll, I'll take that second one. Is that like an additional plus ten, or is it a? Is that plus ten stack for fake points? Plus I'll let, ten is. I'll, 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 let, I'll let. Well, I'll let it stack. I'll okay, be the one. Right. Yeah, I'll let it stack. A. Okay, so you're able to determine after you kind of mess with it and do some experimentation with your psyker stuff. That's about 200 meter radius. Nice. When not in space, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, <clears throat> I pull out the little token that I got, the, the old artifact, 
and sit under the table in front of me since we're in you know a little meeting you're like well this artifact can protect approximately up to about 200 meters from any void taint that may infect our ship it's not a particularly great range so it would be large enough for a thunderhawk or another couple smaller boarding vessels in a tight formation to land on something. Yeah, the Inquisitor did say it would protect you and your team specifically, so... Right. Prevent you from your armor from, from turning on you. Right. I mean, I figure it's a new technological thing within that 200 meter radius. <laughs> right. Yep. If if the Void Entity has a fleet now, we may be able to send a strike team to go to the Void Entity directly and kill it. <clears throat> while while your fleet will try to defend. Try to defend us or something. Hmm. I s we don't have enough ships for that. You don't even know what kind of void. If we take the main void, that should take care of the rest of the ships. Theoretically, if it's the same as it was before for the others, that the crew of the vessels will all be dead. So if we can take out the main void entity, the rest should become inert and uh, essentially floating debris in space. So then you want to use the fleet as a distraction to board. At least give us some some firepower so we can board and then defend yourself as, as best as you can. Does that device protect you from the entity knowing you're there at all or just from its influence? That I do not know, but I do know it protects us from its influence. Now, it may identify a blank space within its area, thus knowing our location, or it may in fact hide us until we start causing more issues, thus it finding said blank space. So it's going to be hit and miss, or miss to see if it can actually see us. You can use side sign sign if you want to experiment more on it for the day to see if it can do what you're asking uh sure minus i'm assuming another minus 10 oh yeah yep got it this time sucker <laughs> oh you're able to discern it would shield you from it detecting you uh you know at, at close ranges and far ranges too so it, it, you'd be invisible to it until you did something cool uh, I believe, yes, it would, in fact, shield us from its vision, senses, or whatever. Um, at least until we are able to actually act upon it. Such as once we boarded, I believe it would know where we were. Right. In, uh, you also know, uh, there you go, you'd have to basically meditate over this thing to do that, what you're asking of it. Your psycho science. Like, just meditate and hold it. So, like uh, Captain Malachius was doing. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Right. Now, that would be a day. Hmm? No, 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 no. Uh, he's saying that, uh, like, how Captain Malachius was holding off the warp entities from spawning on us. I would essentially be doing just that, nothing else. Gotcha. While using the artifact to maintain uh, our protection from its uh, corruption. Or its vision. The corruption is passive. Oh, okay. So I would have to... I would have to actively uh, manipulate the device to prevent its sight from seeing us. So Not saying within 200 meters around you. Th that means we can go in stealth fully. Correct. Yep. Getting back out if we have to run is a completely different matter. I think that's where you need to rest. That's, if we have to run, then we would have failed our mission. And running at that point, eh. if we'd lost, we're dead. 
Fair point. Kind of like those guardsmen. Precisely ambiguous voice, just like those guardsmen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the GM talking to you. So. Yeah, so this Sorry, will be the one God Emperor this. speaks to me sometimes. Right, out of character. <laughs> heresy. <laughs> heresy. <laughs> uh, so, well, at least we can go on stealthily with as much resources as we can bring. Like, Maybe just one boarding craft or a couple of boarding crafts within 200 meters of each other. I believe two is at most what it could probably handle. And again, that's within tight formation. Right. So your character would know. Huh? Go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say, yell mug your character and know the the horrors you saw on the last ship is uh, nothing in comparison to what you're gonna be facing next because this can be the heart of uh, this entity. So just so your your character's aware. So yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna face it ten times worse. That's why I'm thinking just we need to bring as much as we can since we can go in stealthily. We can bring as much re- uh, firepower we can to destroy this thing. Perhaps a mobile tactical nuke. I just thought about that, but yes. Where do we need to put it to ensure that its destruction? Uh, we know that the class- we won't know until we get to board the ship, I'm afraid. We know the class of the ship. Do we? Will the schematics be different? It's less the schematic part and more of where the entity will decide to reside itself. Right. We can't yeah, destroy the ship. We have to destroy the entity. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Because mm. the entity could simply just hop to another ship. That means the fleet needs to be on standby. As or, a, as, backup. as soon as you board, you send a signal and the fleet shows up to distract them. Keep the entity a little busy. Mm-hmm. Probably, uh, if, if we send a signal that, that we board is, the entity will know. The entity will probably know you're there as soon as you board. We could simply do it as a timed thing. You know, we approach and board, and after so many minutes after we launched our mission to board, they come in and attack and cause a distraction. Spread its attention thin. Gotcha. Let's... We want to say 10 minutes after we board? After you get the signal? Well, I figured it would probably be less of a signal thing and more of a... You start the timer as soon as you We start the timer ship. once we depart. I'm not a pilot. I don't know how long it would take to fly over to a ship. I'm assuming no. your captain of, aboard the, the flagship is with you guys during this discussion. Yeah, he can be. Yeah, Yeah, sure. Okay, so he kind of he he kind of tells you, yeah, it can be they can, they can coordinate their effort that way. And he said the thunderbolt, depending on how far out we are, we can be anywhere between, um, you know, fifteen to ten minutes of estimated arrival. That's the window you're looking at. Uh, the further out we are, the more time we are spending, and an hour or two in the air. So to get within that ten fifteen minute window, you're gonna have to get approximately. Uh, as close as those chickens were, almost. You mean Maybe the cockatrices? Right. No, he's just he's just describing like the, um, we can get about a hundred clicks out, launch a vessel, right? Uh, do that fairly quickly and be be very stealth about it. And Captain tells you yeah, he has experience with Eldar type. You guys, you guys tell him about the Eldar ships. I imagine you guys said yeah, this. Yeah, I said it was yeah. surrounded by Eldar vessels. 
Yeah, he says he's yeah. dealt with Eldar vessels before. He enters. He knows kind of like where they're blind at. So he says he could probably because uh, you worked with him. Uh, your character has you, you know what he's saying is very very true and accurate for hot insertions. So he can hot insert, drop off a thunderbolt, and warp out of there. They wouldn't even know you're there. Like I said, he can get you about a hundred clicks out. He just needs to know precisely where uh, the the LZ is, and he can get you in there. I'm just thinking to send the signal once we land, because the entity will know we're here as soon as we land. Well, he's telling me if it's a time thing, he can time it for you, right? Because he'd he'd be warping in, throwing out the thunderbolt, essentially the thunderhawk. Warping out to the meet up with the rest of the fleet and then coming in for the distraction. Is what gotcha. he's telling you. Yeah. Okay. So we will do that said, then. Yeah, and he says he can he can time it. So he says he's very good at timing things. He was worked wonderfully with uh, the librarian here on time insertions. Yes, we all have a chrono on our arm pieces. <laughs> Everyone in the ship. We also all have Mac boots. This is the Inquisition, after all. They could afford everyone a timepiece. Yeah, yeah. Mm, this is the captain. He has a nice timepiece. He has a nice golden timepiece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was saying, like, everyone on board has a timepiece. It doesn't necessarily have to be a great timepiece. Oh, okay. But we all have a timepiece. I mean, mine's gold. It's got rubies. It's got diamonds. It's got a picture of the emperor on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right on the inside. <laughs> But yeah, he says, uh, just go ahead and give me a breakdown of your plan there, uh, Captain. And uh, I'll make, he, he tells you, my crew will make sure it happens. Which captain? The <laughs> captain of the operation. There are currently pointing... three captains here in this room. Well, I'm the naval captain of this vessel, so I'm not referring to myself. And he says, and you're the captain of our entire flotilla, so you don't automatically know what I'm talking about. I'm assuming I'm talking to the Inquisition... Uh, field hire over here. This captain. I didn't catch his name. The Inquisitor didn't tell me. But I'm aware of his uh, role in our mission. Is that Very me? good. Y yes. Th okay. That would be you, Captain Dominic. <laughs> 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 it's important to clarify things I find in these situations. <laughs> See, the captain kind of just smiling and laughing at the stupidity of it all, but he says, it is what it is for the Emperor. Oh, I guess that's the plan. Do a uh, hot insertion, stealth, and stealth it in. And he once says the it, timer top pops up, the fleet comes in. Yeah, he says, it's your plan. I'm just helping. Right. My part. Right, and the, for the uh, strike team, we'll just figure out where, where the entity is and put a tactical nuke right. in there and blow it up. And uh, he kind of sits back and leans and says, there's a slight problem to this plan a little bit. And he says, that's the reactor. Uh, it may overload the reactor doing this hot insertion. I don't know. We'll find out. And we bring a different frigate in. One that's undamaged. He said, this is this is probably the best frigate that's going to do that hot insertion. This is, this is, this is specifically designed for this type of, type of activity. For this exact kill team. He points okay. to Yelmuk's <laughs> character for this kill team, specifically. How can we ensure the reactor doesn't explode during this insertion? We wait several months for repairs to be finished. We don't have that <laughs> kind of time. No, we don't. He says, I'll take that risk. So, uh, The Inquisitor, or the, he says... Uh, he, he points to you, Moth. He says, I advise you go with the kill team, possibly, or on another vessel to secure your safety. Throne agent. I was planning on it. Right. And then Yelmuk, whatever you're going to do with your kill team, he's not in charge of that at all. So. Oh, I'll probably bring them along on a separate Thunderhawk. Okay. Your uh, team of librarians? Yep. <clears throat> And feel free to... When, when facing a, a, a terrible warp entity, it's probably good to have more librarians on hand than not. Right. So they'd be of uh, about half your, half your level, I imagine, or a little bit under. 
if we were to so make rank him. one. <laughs> Not a rank. What rank are you? We're rank three currently. Okay, so they'd be yeah. rank two. Rank two. Oh, okay. Okay. One below you. So. And then one of them is Harden Aurelius, and you can name the name the other four, because you're one of six. So that's yeah, five six. That's probably a good stopping point. Yep. What do you guys Maybe. think? I <laughs> thought that was an excellent session. I enjoyed myself a lot. <laughs> Especially your little uh, side story. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, my side quest to uh, spank the spank the shit out of some guardsmen. Quite literally, yeah. in fact. Uh, I cannot send messages into the different list. Yeah, I'm, I'm fixing up uh, permissions real quick. All right. Oh, Sorry. you're doing a death watch group? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Yilmug, do you... Have you checked out the codex-specific stuff for Kerkaradons? All right, can, can you... Sure. I sent in the resources channel. Real message. quick, can you guys send uh... in there? I can send in the the pages. Uh, they are just related to the character building of Kirkaradons. I'll be back. No, you well, guys I was just using the honor the chapter rules for Kirkaradons. I think that's what it is. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, you had it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Right. Yep. Yeah. I'll just delete. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just delete it then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Mike, feel free to flush out your your kill kill team's uh, character sheets for next session. Yeah, question. Can I be one of those characters? <laughs> yeah, for sure. If you want to make a character librarian, go for it. Sure. If anyone else wants to be a librarian, go for it as well. Uh, yeah, just make a, make another cheat for me, I guess, then. They are ranked two, by the way. So that's, mm. that's my, my only thing is they're not fully fledged characters like you guys. Rank right. twos. Whereas, because Yellow Mug is a captain of a librarian uh, kill team, so he has to be tip top. Alright. Real quick, all of you guys, uh, is the Death Watch voice channel, does it look like a mic, or uh, not a, does it look like a speaker icon or a giant padlock? It has uh, a speaker a icon speaker. with a padlock. Yeah, that's that's yeah. fine. Um, can you send messages under Death Watch and yes. resources? Alright. Yes. And I set it up correctly. The permissions were good. I just wanted to, like, kind of filter out so that we're not getting... Just anyone can walk in here and... And mm -hmm. fuck with shit. But they can they can look at it. Mm-hmm. All right. But yeah, I wanted to guys give you a small taste of what's to come without having to murder you guys. I'm sure you saw all the bullshit that's coming your way. So, real quick... <laughs> Boko and Moth, because you guys are both server admins. If you want to bring anyone into the Death Watch group, server just Server admins? Them. I'm the server owner. Well, I know you're the server owner, but I'm just... I'm collect an admin? I'm collectively yeah. referring to both of you as admins for the purpose of what I'm saying. Just give someone the Death Watch role if they're joining the campaign. Yeah, I figured. But I added it to everyone in this channel. That's all. Okay. No, I don't think anyone else is joining. Dan had somebody, and then he backed out, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know. Still no idea. Yeah, it's a problem with uh, pencil and paper RPGs. People don't want to commit to it. No, I see why I did. I, right, and I see why I did what I did in the beginning. So, yep. start with 12, and then by, by uh, osmosis, or whatever you want to call it, uh, people self trim. Yep. Mm hmm. That's fair. Right. Oh, also, a uh, mandatory question. Does anyone need a uh, a macro for any weapon ability, whatever skill, which would be useful? Or are we good for now? Good for now. Uh, 50 XP for all that RP in. I'm back. In, in addition to the 50 XP that uh, Dan and I both That's got? Correct. All right. That's correct. Because you guys did mission planning together, uh, dude. Since well, no, you're... dude, dude, Moth and Yilmug did mission planning. Dan and I did not. Oh, okay, so fifty for them for that then. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. so, so we each get, enough... we each should get fifty total just from that entire RPing shtick. Mm -hmm. 
All right. I hope that clarifies things, Moth. That was pretty hilarious. You guys just banter back and forth. I was like, yeah, none of that happened. <laughs> Did I miss the banter? Yeah, Moth and Tesseract were going on banter like he was the, the librarian. He was the librarian. I was like, no, 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 he's the captain. The reason why he called you in here. Uh, I think you yep. mean Yelmug, not me. Yelmug, yeah. that's what I said. Yelmug, Tesseract, sorry. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> My brain sometimes merges the two. I was looking at your character name, and I, and I was thinking of Carl. Yeah, come uh, on, guys. Give the GM a break. He's suffered enough this session. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah, you had to watch you play BDSM with the guardsman. <laughs> uh, he wasn't paying attention. No, to that, I was not was playing funny. BDSM. The guardsman thought it was BDSM, and I told him it was fucking heresy that he was enjoying that, so I killed him. Well, I snapped his neck so that he's now a quadriplegic and he's going to get turned into a servitor now. <laughs> Which is the worst thing to do. What do you mean the worst thing? You don't Especially. make servitors out oh. of heretics. Especially uh, no, some you, uh, you followers. Don't, yeah, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You don't, you don't turn, you don't turn uh, servitors into heretics. You turn heretics into servitors. No, you don't. No, Why? you don't. You turn faithful into servitors. Corrupted. Uh oh. That chaos tank can lead <laughs> into other stuff. Well, I guess we're going to have a rogue. I guess we're going to have a rogue servitor that we're going to have to worry about now. Like the first encounter you guys had. <laughs> yeah, our tech marine just inadvertently made a, uh, a corrupted servitor. Yeah. Except, except the first one was uh, the the entity attacking y'all. Boko right. can uh, have fun with that with his old GM roles at Rogue Servitor aboard our ship. Yes, I am invoking the fuck around and find out philosophy from our GM because that's what makes an interesting story. <laughs> Hot take. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. You found a slash follower, uh, killed it, and then turned it into a servitor to put on our ship. Because I didn't Hilarious. know any better. I'm a dumb tech marine. I don't know anything well, about it. Considering he was the one who started spanking the Slanesh follower first, I think he could use it later. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I spanked him. Getting some use. Look, I spanked him as corporal punishment and nothing more. If he wants to take it in a sadism and masochism context, that's his prerogative, not mine. <laughs> yes, but if you don't stop doing it. I did stop because he 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 enjoyed it, and I knew he was enjoying it. So I I called him a heretic and snapped his neck and stopped immediately. <laughs> I'm not I mean, the heretic, masochist, the guardsman you just is. Fed him. But I didn't know he was a masochist before I started spanking him. That's what I'm saying. No, but I mean, after. You, after you found out, you just didn't walk away. You fed into more masochism. Yeah, you, you chased down another one, strangled him, and said, You saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guilty. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh, you got you guys got to remember that I'm part of the Iron Hands chapter, so we reject the frailties of flesh, and that that's up to and including uh, uh, like but apparently sexual a, uh, heresy. But has I mean, a very strong ritualistic of uh, corporal punishment by spanking mm -hmm, each other mm -hmm. when someone does something. <laughs> that's why they are Iron Hands. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause it hurts. <laughs> it hurts more when you do it. Brother, bring me the paddle attachment. <laughs> I don't need the paddle oh, no. attachment. The I'll use my cold dead me. hands. <laughs> we got to whip oh, out the guys. board of education. Yeah, and spank fun. some sense into these cardsmen. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that was that was something. <laughs> Like I said before, I did not expect to be doing that kind of RP today. I mean, you engaged in it, so I guess you decided <laughs> you were going to do it. When you it started funny. spanking him, it's like, well, there's only one way this can go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, come on. Spanking is just... It's it's innocent corporal punishment. There's nothing You're more, a nothing less. Demigod spanking a small frail human 
The gauntlet and <laughs> hand of death. What do you I'm mean, Brian? You said police or more. I, I'm surprised he didn't break his tailbone doing that. Like, holy hell. You just probably shattered his pelvis while spanking him innocently. It, it's okay. He only, <laughs> he only realized that until I snapped his neck. Now that he's a paraplegic, he can no longer feel his shattered pelvis. <laughs> it's all good. We're square now. might be the only thing he feels is the sheer pain of it all, which only feeds into this Leshy thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. What can I say? Now we have a Oops, rogue servant. <laughs> yep. But what do you expect from some dumb idiot guards? <laughs> uh, all right. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's fair. Oh man. Uh, so next week. Next week. Yeah, Saturday. Until next week. Saturday's cool with me. I just, I had, my family made plans for yesterday, so I, I knew I couldn't commit to it yesterday. Hope that wasn't mm. a big deal. No. All right. Mm -mm. I should be good for next Saturday then. Thanks for playing, guys. That was a lot of fun. Holy shit. Then I will see Damn you all next week. All right. All right, then. See you. See Catch you all later. See ya.